Okay, brilliant. Hi everyone and welcome. We are live at InGame UK for another playtest broadcast. And tonight we have Roy from the Netherlands and we're going to be playing Palace of Prospects, an exciting game on Tabletop Simulator uh, via stream. So without further ado, I'm going to switch over so you can meet all the players for this evening. I can hear myself. Someone's watching me. <laughs> Brilliant. There's always a few technical issues. Um, but here we are. This is me. I don't have to do another introduction, but straight over to you, Roy. Hello, Roy. Nice to meet you. No, that's fine. What 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 sort of game is it? Just give us a little bit of a flavour. What's it about? Okay, that sounds exciting. I think that. Oh wait a minute. Sorry, I. You are indeed. Let's just start that again. Hi, Roy. How are you? <laughs> Sorry. Um, slight technical oh, issue. Apologies. <laughs> um, thank you, Chris, for I highlighting just muted that. me. <laughs> I muted everyone. Um, I'll get better at this oh, over time, okay. I promise. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. It so happens. But tell okay, us so a little bit about yourself, Roy. Yeah, that was... All right, so... I'm I'm Roy Huyler. I'm 22 from the Netherlands, and I'm a first game a first time game designer. Uh, so I am very much into uh, video games. Not and I haven't really uh, I wasn't into board games that much before. But then I thought, you know what? I played a few, and then I also wanted to design because I always wanted to design a game, but I can't code, so I can't I can't design a board uh, uh, a video game. So I thought I'd design a board game. Okay. Uh, and tell us, that, that's tell sort us of how it went. Tell us a little bit about uh, Palace of Prospects. What sort of game is yeah, it? Yeah. So uh, Palace of Prospects is a uh, fantasy-themed cooperative deck-building dungeon crawler, in which uh, the four players want to venture through the Palace of Prospects to uh, defeat the evil boss there. Okay. It, it's an evil priest. Okay. But, cool. Well uh, and basically, they have to uh, go through all kinds of randomized rooms uh, do, to do combat and uh, influence the other rooms okay. as well. We're not uh, seeing the game just yet, so we'll jump in and we'll have a look, look yeah. at the game at the moment. But that sounds really exciting. Exactly. And I must admit, that's completely up my street and Chris's street. So any sort of fantasy nice. dungeon crawl, we're getting mm -hmm. a little bit excited <laughs> over here, I'll be honest. Um, but that's who good. else? That's good. <laughs> who else do we have joining us this evening? Hi, uh, I'm Chris. I'm the co-organizer of this uh, live stream, and under normal circumstances, I would also be the um, organizer of the uh, Plymouth Playtest group, which we meet up on a Monday night um, at the Marina Bar on the Barbican. Obviously, that's not happening at the moment with everything that's going on, uh, so we're just running this stream instead. Cool. And last but not least, who else do we have here uh, tonight? Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Nick. I'm a game designer and developer, um, and I am part of the Plymouth Playtest Meetup group as well. Fantastic. Well, nice to see you all again, guys, and lovely to meet you, Roy. Let's jump in and take a little look um, at the game now. Bear with yeah. me one second. Okay, so I'm just going to get you all in, in location. I'm going to turn my video off. All right. There you are. You are all on, on stream. Nice. I can turn the music down a little bit. And basically what I want you to do is um, treat this as a exhibition style demo. So it's very much over to you now. Um, tell us a little bit about the game. All right. Um, I will then. So uh, what you see here before you is the game. You all have a player mat 
and there is the map. And then there's a whole lot of cards, but we'll get into that. We will. Uh, basically, if you look at the map here, uh, you see that we'll have to venture from the first floor all the way <laughs> to the boss there, on top. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, I don't know if any of you know Slay the Spire. It's a video game. Mm -hmm. Uh, but basically, you can only move uh, upstream. You can only move uh, to uh, the next room. There's no going back. Things happen in a room, things happen in the next room, so on. Okay. Uh, then, I think... Um, what's going to be the order in which I tell this? Okay. Uh, so, uh, during... The during venturing through the palace, you will encounter all sorts of monsters, and you'll do that with everyone that's currently in the room with you. Okay. So ev everyone moves sort of in a moving action uh, at the same time, so sort of at the same time, uh, and everyone in the same room. Uh, when everyone has moved, uh, will uh, do combat together, and everyone has their own character with different stats and a different ability. So everyone has a different playstyle, mm -hmm. and then uh, because of the nature of the game, all the players got imbued with some godly powers, uh, and that's random. So everyone starts the game with one of four starting decks, which you can see here. Uh, these are the decks uh, that the players will start the game with, with one of them. Uh, and those are the cards that will be played during combat. Okay. Um, so uh, basically you have a character and you play uh, those, those are called action cards during combat, uh, and yeah. Oh, I'm so bad at explaining. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that's okay. That's not not one of my redeeming qualities. <laughs> that's that's quite alright. Would it be? What, what's the first step? So do okay, do we yeah. randomly take one of these decks? Uh, no. The very first okay. step is randomizing and setting up the dungeon. So okay. here are, is the dice pouch, and in the dice pouch are all the room dice. So what I would like you to do is just take all the dice out, and then there are green dice, red dice, and orange dice, and those go on the red places, green places, and uh, orange places. Uh, and then you can just give them all a good shuffle, and then we have randomized the palace. We're not doing a great job at this, guys. <laughs> this is our first challenge. We <laughs> failed miserably. Yeah. No, you have failed. This this looks super. <laughs> it's, my OCD is driving me nuts right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That is yeah. beautiful. It is so okay. good. Yeah. All right. So what you see before you now is the palace as we will experience it then i would uh like you to all pick a character card i could explain to you uh which characters are the most simple to start with or which has sort of what personality but you could also just find out for yourself and look what you think yeah, let's do random let's random do random yeah let's i'm, I'm random. up for all a little right. bit random sure uh, someone did comment on your on your rug, by the way. Um, someone really enjoyed the rug on the floor. I, I've got a feeling it's Morton, uh, one yeah, of our it, avid it, commenters. It, it thinks it is, he's funny. It is one of the st standard backgrounds in okay. the tabletop simulator. I've done nothing with it, but thank you so much. It really fits the yeah, atmosphere, nice. I think. Ooh, really ties that's... the room together. Yeah, this that's interesting. <laughs> I, I will I will pick one randomly as well. I got the sorcerer. So uh, I'll go I'll go th uh, through all of you uh, one at a time. Okay. Uh, and 
so I, I'm at uh, Jinnah's now. Yeah. Uh, what, what does your character do? I've got the guide. Uh, All right. Guidance. Deal free bonus damage when you continue the direction of play. All Ten right. times, three times. I'm not sure what that means. And we will stats, get into that. Yeah. I have six, three, and two. All right. So, uh, what this all means is uh, you you have three kinds of stats here. Okay. And that goes for all the characters. And uh, those stats are necessary for you to have combat, uh, are necessary during combat. Uh, the leftmost stat is your hand size. Mm -hmm. And that is the amount of hand cards you have in your hand at the start of a turn, at the start of a round. It's called a round. So at the start of a round. Uh, so you'll have six uh, action cards in your hand at the start of a round. Okay. Uh, the two on the right side is the maximum value of action cards. Action cards have a value from 1 through 10. Okay. The maximum value that you can start a round with if you are the first player playing a card. So the very first card in a combo or in a round is limited to that stat. That's called the initial stat. Okay. Then uh, the stat at the bottom is called velocity. And you have to hang on for that one because it is sort of complicated to explain. Okay. So all action cards have a value. And the velocity stat says how many value you can play above the previous action card. Okay, that's fine. So the previous one was a two, you have three, so you can maximally play a five. Yeah. You can play a three, a four, or a five. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's it. Those are your stats. Then uh, the guidance, what you have, uh, basically all action cards have a direction. If you play a, an action card in the same direction as you got it from, no, uh, as the, in the same direction as the previous action card went, so you got get one from the right and you play it to the left, so it continues, uh, you will deal three bonus damage. You'll, you'll see that when you see the action cards. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and the, the 10 times, 3 times uh, next to it means... Uh, well, action cards can upgrade. Uh, action cards have blue, te blue text as well. And as soon as uh, you have used your ability 10 times, uh, your entire deck upgrades. Okay. And then there is a room, the fireplace. Uh, that's an F on the map. Uh, and in a fireplace, you can uh, choose to add three. That's the rightmost uh, blue number. You can choose to add three to your uh, uh, ability progression. Gotcha. That's called the character quest. Okay. And as soon as you have completed your character quest, you upgrade your entire deck. Okay. So you, you'll become stronger. Oh. Uh, now that we've uh, all had our character, there is one more thing that needs to be said up about the map. You see this lock uh, place here between the ninth and the tenth floor. And you'll basically have to imagine the boss room, that's a giant throne room. And there's a giant door in front of it with <laughs> a massive massive lock uh, <laughs> in it and if the players don't meet a certain requirement uh, when they pass through the 10th floor that lock will activate a curse and boss combat will become much harder okay so if one of you like would like to draw uh, a lock card And it stays face down, I see it. No, it, it's, it's face oh, down. Oh, can see it. Okay. Yeah, lock of treasure. So this means all players must have all their item slots filled. So everyone must have two items. Okay. Uh, or they face two bosses instead of one. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we we must make sure that, that we get at least uh, that two items each. Like we will most likely, because there are some good item rooms on the map. Okay. Uh, then, uh, before we start, we all have to get an a deck to start the game with. Okay. I'm sorry, setup setup is long, but just what? just just before that, yeah. um, would um, would the others like to introduce their characters? So who else? Oh have you got? yeah, I'm so sorry. Indeed. That's all right. Just... Uh, so wait, wait, GM. Wait, wait, Chris, GM. do you want to jump yeah. in? Okay. Who have you got? Uh, so I'm the ranger. Uh, so my special ability is range precision. Uh, once per round, I, uh, you can skip one player in the direction of play. Uh, eight times two. Okay. Um, I've got a hand size sets. four. Um, uh, plus three and uh, four. Nice. Um, so three initial and four velocity. velocity. Yeah. I'm just loving the artwork, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, I made all the artwork. Check out the merchant minutes. trousers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that guy is. <laughs> He's got He's some wealth. so happy. Yeah. yeah. So I'm the merchant. Mm -hmm. um, my special ability is wise investment. I can pay half the floor number worth of coins, change my action card's value by one. one okay. action card, and that's 18 coins slash five coins. Hand size of five, start of four, and the velocity of two. Nice. So you also remember what the 18 and five means, right? Mm -hmm. From the other things. You, you have to, if you spend 18 coins total, your deck upgrades. Okay. And just lastly, Roy, who are you? What's so I am the mighty sorcerer. <laughs> and all the one value action cards I play are played twice. Whoa. So it, it is... That can be very strong, depending on which starter deck you get. Uh, I have a five hand size, I have a three initial, and I have three velocity. That's my character. Cool. Yeah. Brilliant. Then uh, we'll have a d4 here, and who wants to be number one on the die? Uh, I will. Yeah. yeah I'll All right. Uh, then you can. Uh, you can. Yeah. You can roll it. Uh, you can roll it with R. I'm just going to acknowledge a couple of people who've been commenting. So, um, Aaron Gove, thank you very much. Um, he's. I think he was commenting about the car. Was it? Who, who was commenting about the carpet? I'm not sure. Yeah. It might have been Aaron. So thank you very much for that. And also we've got Tim. Uh, Tim was another game designer. He's based in the states, and we played. Uh, what, what was it called? Monomoki Castle of Mon. Uh, Someone Monomoke. jump in. Monomoki. Yeah, Monomoke. and that that's that's going to kickstart ever so soon as well. Um, so thank you very much for joining us. Everyone, I hope you enjoy the game um, and get a sense of what it is we're going to do. We're going to fail, I'm sure. All... <laughs> we could, for sure, yeah. And also, if anyone has any questions in chat, please, I I'm all ears. I might be bad at explaining the general gist of it, but the detailed questions, mm -hmm. I'm all in. That's that's going to kickstart. Uh, so, uh... Chris rolled a two. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chris, so you, you were number one. You you rolled a two. Okay, so this means this is the very first deck. That's the Dawn deck. And that will go to player number two. So that will go to you. Oh. And now we're going to get into something weird. <laughs> okay. Because the action cards have an affinity. Sort mm -hmm. of like Pokemon types, grass, water, fire, blah, blah, blah. But they don't deal double damage. Uh, we have Dawn. Dusk, light, and shadow, and dawn and dusk work to work together really nicely, and light and shadow work together really nicely. Which means that if you uh, play a dusk card after a dawn card, instead of only use, using your the velocity to only go up, you can also use your velocity to go down. So that's something you can use to sort of soft reset around in some sense. Uh, but because of that, uh, we'll have to make sure that the Dusk player sits next to the Dawn player. So we're gonna have one, two for Chris again, 
and then uh, three four for me. If you wanna roll again, two again, dude. The two again. So that means that you will get the dusk deck. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, well, basically one two for you, three four for me for the light deck. Three. That's a light deck for me, and then you will have the shadow deck to start with. So... Up. And then, if you want, you can just uh, have a look at all the cards in your deck, so that you sort of know uh, what's going on. Uh, I'll just uh, pick one of them and put them on the table uh, to give an introduction of what a card looks like. Okay, so there's one on the table right now. This is a bright bulb. This is one of mine. Uh, so you don't have this yet, but you can get it eventually. Uh, the number in the upper left corner is the value. Uh, then you have the name. Then you have the affinity beneath the name. So, uh, for example, Chris, uh, all your action cards will say Dusk there for now. Uh, then there is the effect of the card. For this card, it is deal 4 damage to all enemies, and then the next shadow action card played deals its value as bonus damage. And in that way, every action card has their own thing of what they do. And then there's an arrow, and the arrow is which direction the card plays in. Okay. Uh, I think that is most of what we need to know. You can, you have four action slots on your player mat, everyone each. Uh, so that means you can play uh, four action cards before your uh, slots run out, basically. Okay. And that's all the introduction for now, I think. I will take care of all the decks because the decks need to be uh, updated. If you, yeah, uh, could you all go to the rule book for me, uh, to the during the game section? I made this beautiful rule book yeah, and I didn't even it. use it yet. <laughs> Do you know what page that is? Uh, it 15. Is it 15? During the game. Okay. Yeah, during it's the game. during the game indeed. Uh, so, uh, during the game, there are two uh, there are two instances of decks that should uh, always be up updated every time we go to a next floor. Uh, so there's the action cards, because uh, every time we go to uh, every time we ascend to a next floor, uh, we we can draw an action we can draw three action cards from a deck of our choice, and we can choose one to keep. Uh, but if those decks don't get updated, uh, we'll only get low action cards, low value action cards, because only the ones and twos are there in are in there from the start. Um, and the monster deck will also get updated because uh, we can only encounter one value monsters first, then one and two, then one two three, one two three four, yep. one two three mini boss, and then one two three mini boss all the way. Uh, so I don't know if any one of you would like to take that task, uh, or that I should do it myself. Uh, well, would you I, like? I, I, would you like to lead? I think. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll just do that then. Then, uh, if everyone could put their uh, character uh, pawn thing on the first room, then we will enter the first combat. I'll make this a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah. All right. Playing Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, who would like to? Very... Yeah. Who would like okay. to draw a card from here? Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Drop them in. And flip it. Boom. That's the very first monster we're gonna encounter. It's the thunder cloud. Oh, so it I has. I don't want to yeah. hurt him. 
You, you, you do, because it will hurt you. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, as you might have noticed, your the characters themselves don't have HP. But the monsters do. So, our action cards deal damage to the monsters. But as soon as one of us can't play when they should, the round ends and the monster attacks. And the monster attacks one of our stats, or more of our stats, of more of multiple pe people's stats. It, it can go very wild, very quickly. We go to That's why we only floor. encounter one value of monsters at the uh, start of So there's the action game. Uh, so this monster has Ten, six, and the monster attacks four and the monster HP, attacks so one of our stats. Right now. And when we fumble up, we, the player that uh, can play, the player that couldn't play, I'm sorry, takes one hand size damage. Okay. And every second round, it also deals one initial damage to all players when it attacks. Okay. So for now, it starts at uh, 8 HP, and because it is a light monster, the player with the light deck will start combat. So for now, that is me. So everyone can uh, shuffle their deck, mm -hmm. if, if they want. And then uh, draw up to their hand size. Okay. So I draw five. All Do right. we keep them hidden or does it not matter? Yeah, we, we, we keep them hidden, indeed. Uh, oh no, not for, not from yourself, not from okay, yourself. You, uh, we can yeah, it from the other players. I wouldn't say, I won't say it would be too easy otherwise, but th this makes it a bit harder. Six. Six. What have I got? So people at home are seeing the cards that are just drawn. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go through them all. One all right. Time for people. Yeah. Then I think I'll make sure uh, you can play first. Uh, sorry, I keep covering up. Sorry, I keep covering up people's the feed. Oh, yeah. So sorry. Thank <laughs> you for letting me know, Aaron. I appreciate it. I'll stop doing it. It's because I'm trying to interact with all of you guys on the chat at the same time. It's all your fault. That's what's happening. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will start combat now. If that's okay with you. Yeah, if everyone absolutely. has sort of read their hands, knows what their cards do. Is that uh, is that going okay? Does anyone have questions about action cards in their hand now? Uh, I don't. I'm okay. Okay. I've got a really daft question. When you say stow, does it mean put a card back into your draw pile? Is that what uh, stow means? I, I got the keywords uh, listed here. Uh, okay, thank you. And, Perfect. Uh, stow is on the bottom. It is uh, put an action card on your stow pile, and you'll get it back ah, I see. in your deck after combat. Okay. So there's two types of sort of status. Yeah. Things there's fade and there is stow. Uh, faded action cards you will get back after a round, and stowed action cards you will get back after combat. Uh, but I will start with a laser pointer. And that's a deal two damage and deal two bonus damage if the previous action card played this combat was Dusk or Shadow. It isn't. So this is two damage, but I am the sorcerer. So I play it twice. So it's four right, cool. damage. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, so yeah. I, I will deal four damage to it. One, two, three, four. The turn goes to the left. Okay. And I will move up the marble for my character quest by one because I use my character ability. Uh, so. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, so then our streamer is, I think. I'm going to close off the Facebook page because I think I'm causing problems. All right. I was just interacting with people. Um, so, quick question I've got: Are we able to discuss the cards that we wish to play? Yeah, for now. Um, for now, I'd say we are. 
Okay. Because we want to keep it sort of... Uh, we we want to make it. We want to have a victory here, right? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, of course. <laughs> so what's... Love the optimism. The sorceress just cast four damage on Mr. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Um, so we're looking for two more, more damage. damage. Is that correct? We're looking for four more damage. Four more damage. Okay, so yeah. what you what, what what have you guys got? Um, I've got two. I've basically got two things that can do two damage a piece. Um, nice. And then I've got one that's probably be, played last, um, which does four damage. Um, mm -hmm. It's probably best to keep hold of that one for. Yeah. All right. So I've got two cards that allow me to do two damage, but if I stow an action card, I get two bonus damage. So I could do it in one shadow punch. Ooh. You could, yeah. Um, what do you guys think? Yes, yeah, it's, it's my go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Should I, should we yeah take headshot. Him out? Headshot. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> in in the cloud. Headshot yeah. on the cloud. <laughs> exactly. So okay. you shadow punch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, play another shiver. I should have the ring velocity, including those of one pool. So I uh, don't know what is overly good. It it doesn't really matter right now what you would play okay, because you so... would kill the the uh, thundercloud either way. So the first combat is sort of a doozy most of the time. I would yeah may, maybe I should have to uh, up the uh, one value guys uh, their health a little bit but you killed it it's training mode cool. that's what we like yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is training <laughs> indeed it, it's it's sort of it's sort of getting in there yeah uh so this monster is dead and that Oof. means Perfect. we will all okay so there are three types of combat rooms there are combat rooms <laughs> uh there are item rooms and there are reroll rooms those are the three types. Uh, so it's half of the rooms you could encounter because there's combat item shop, warp in, reroll, fireplace here. And in a combat room, everyone gets coins equal to uh, the value of monster defeated. Okay. So cool. now everyone gets one coin. Okay. Yeah. And then I will. Uh, Update the decks that we can draw from. Da, 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 da. And then I think. So, because I defeated that guy, do the other players not get an action? Not uh, in the combat yeah. phase, I assume. They don't get an action right now, indeed, that's true. Uh, but they will get an action. Uh, most likely next uh, next combat, or most li they will get an action next combat because <laughs> next combat will be uh, more difficult. I hope. Otherwise, it's not a good uh, good look for the game. Uh, <laughs> uh, but you defeated the thundercloud, so you can choose uh, first from which deck you would like to draw three cards to choose one from. Is that, is that correctly? Yeah, that, that, that's correct. So, Sorry. basically, uh, here on the uh, yes. this, this side, uh, all the cards on the bottom, uh, those are action cards uh, from the decks uh, above them. And mm -hmm. after every combat, uh, of, or after, after every room, uh, all players can grab one action card to keep, uh, from the pile that contains all uh, action cards with uh, floor number plus one value from that affinity. So now they're all one and two value action cards from dawn are in here, from dusk are in here, from light are in here, and from shadow are in here. <clears throat> and even though you started with the shadow deck, uh, you can choose any deck you want to draw from right now okay so you can you can draw uh which which, which did you draw from uh this one oh from light so yeah uh, you can you can draw three 
Oh, also, you can put your uh, hand back in your in your deck. Because. Uh, okay, got you. Yeah. Sorry. Uh... So what you mean is we can reshuffle our draw decks to draw another six yeah, in the next round. Yeah, exactly. Room. Got and you. because okay. combat is over, you also uh, get your uh, stowed action card back. Normally, you wouldn't. Uh, but uh, you want to draw from the light deck, you said, right? I did draw from the light deck, yeah. I took yeah. one. Uh, but did you want to take that one? Because you can... Ah, I can look at it, can I? Yeah, you, you can draw three. Yes, I did want it. I've put it into my deck now and shuffled it, so... Okay. I did yeah, I did I... want it. Okay, that, 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 that's good. Then... Uh, so then, because the action card you played uh, played towards me, I will be the next one to choose, and I will choose from. Uh, wait, have a minute. Uh, Nick, what? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yes, yes, Nick. What was your affinity? Uh, I'm Dawn. You're Dawn. Okay, so then. I want to choose from the Dusk Affinity, because I sit next to you, mm -hmm. and I want to have complementation with you. Yeah. Uh, so I will try to get that uh, by... Wait, what, what did I do here? Yeah, I will try to get that by uh, drawing here and putting a mag... No, no, not a magnetic moon, but putting a... Wishing star. No, not a wishing star. Putting a receding light in my deck. And the other ones go back. And then, Nick, you can uh, pick one to choose from. And one that hasn't been chosen from yet. So you can't pick mm -hmm. from uh, these two. You can pick from one of the other two. Well, I'll, I'll take each other then. All right. Yeah. We can defeat the bad guys together. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. And I go for three from uh, Dawn. Yeah, all right. And it's what? Uh, we choose one, don't we? Yeah, you choose one. True. Okay, I'm going to do the shopping. Great. And I am updating <clears throat> the decks for the next floor already. Because we are going to move to floor two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, also, uh, if you... Uh, Pick an action card there. If you pick an action card with a lower value, then the maximum value you can get. And the maximum value you can get is always the current floor number plus one. So two, right now. Mm -hmm. uh, everything, every value you pick below the maximum, you can get in coins. So I got a one value action card, so I get one coin. Because two was the maximum, <clears throat> I would. I picked one below maximum. So if you also did that, you can. Uh, one one. Yeah, so you can get a coin there. Yeah. Then the two value monsters are added. And I think uh, we're, we're, we're going to have ourselves a little combat here again in the mm -hmm. item room. So we have ventured into the item room. And in the item room, we see treasure. We see some beautiful treasure. But before that treasure, there is... Okay, I'm gonna draw this. Oh no! Oh, no. Before that treasure, there stands... The Riddler. <laughs> Terrifying! <laughs> Gladiator-like. Uh, uh, sorry, Gladiator... <laughs> what's, what's this? Uh, alligator. Uh, alligator-like <laughs> creature. <laughs> it has... Uh. 
I don't Four think you teeth. should change the artwork at all. <laughs> <laughs> I love those teeth. <laughs> It, it, it has 14 HP. It is a shadow <laughs> monster. And we know what that means. Shadow monster means that. Tell them, Nick. I don't know. What's the shadow monster? You can't see it? No, no it, it, it means that you can start. Wait, no, it, it doesn't mean that you can start. I'm so sorry. It, it means that our, our streamer starts. Jenner starts. Oh, uh, right, okay. Okay. Yeah. Because mm. he has the shadow deck. Ah, so, okay. Right, okay, yeah, I got you, I got you. Because he, has, because he has the Shadow Affinity, he would sort of notice the monster first. Uh, got you. And what's, yeah. his, what's his health? 14. Yeah, 14. Okay, so... And his ability is... It only takes damage from action cards with an uneven mm. value. Okay, well, let's... Okay, and... Okay. I can only start a draw with a 2 two value card is that correct uh with up to a two value card up to yeah. a two so you can either uh play a one or a two there. yeah got you so let's uh shadow punch him again nice and i'm gonna stow a lunar expansion shadow all um, right and that's gonna bring him down by four nice i like that oops yeah Okay, so I can't play a one value action card now, which I would have liked, but that's okay. Uh, so I will play a two value action card. It's the only one in my hand, and it continues the direction of play to my right. It is a sunlight, and it says deal damage equal to half the amount of action cards in your hand. If the last action card played was done, don't half the damage. So it would deal damage equal to my entire hand, after a dawn action card. But for now, it deals two damage. Mm -hmm. Because he, he only takes damage from uneven values. Oh, shit. And You're right. You're right. Value. Look, someone, someone's paying yeah. attention. It's so, yeah, it. It, it does not take the damage. Actually. Ah, not even mine then. Well, it does take yours, yeah, because you played a one value action card. Oh, uh, right, stowed, okay, yeah, yeah, I see. The the two value action card that you stowed is just there. Uh, yeah, no, I got you. It, it's it's stowed, not played. Hmm. I thought I was, I, I meant the damage that was dealt, not the action card value. Uh, okay. I was yeah. wrong, that's fine. All right, but then it's uh, next turn, because I played to the right. Okay. And I have to play... Do I have to play higher than a 2 because you play a 2? Uh, yeah. Yeah, true. Okay. Well, I guess the only viable one that I have that actually deals damage uh, is Rise of Spring. Mm -hmm. So it deals 2 damage, and it is odd, so it will deal his damage. The next player draws action cards until they draw one with at least 4 value. Well, merci bien. Yeah. <laughs> that would be me then. Like, uh, you drew you drew a shadow action card, right? I did. Do you have it in your hand? I do. Then, it's a one, right? Yeah. So because uh, light and shadow have affinity affinity complementation with each other, that that thing that I mentioned about uh, the velocity, yeah, you could have played that as well. But it's 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 totally okay. Because I okay. will draw until I have four cards in my hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, shit. Th that was it. One, two, three. Yeah. But. You got one with a value four, have you? Yeah, I got one with a value four. Yep. I got a photosynthesis. But I won't oh. play it. I will play Receding Light for four damage. I'm going to give him his two damage that I gave him as well. Yeah. Yeah, so you dealt two damage. Yeah, I I'm gonna deal four damage, uh, because of my ability. So it it's played two times, uh, and I will move up my marker again, that and is... then it's next turn again. So I am going to. Oh yes, yeah, so we must be moving these markers. When... Uh. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can move those markers when uh, when you use your ability. Right, okay, that tracks the ability. Okay. Yeah, that's the uh, upper ones 
uh, track the ability. So this is the tens and this is the normal numbers. Yep. And when you take damage in your stats, you move these markers. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, uh, so what value do I have? Because you've played a one. Yeah, so you can I either can... play a two or a mm -hmm. three. Or you can play, uh, you can use one coin mm -hmm. to play a four. You can also use the coin to play a three as a two, but if you play the three as a two, the Riddler wouldn't take damage. But if you use a coin for a four, it becomes a yeah. three, yeah. or you can make it become a three uh, with your merchant ability. And then yeah. the Riddler would take damage from it. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I will do that. Um, so I'm playing some more Sleep Dawn, some more Sleep. So I'm going to yeah. play the one, change it to a three. Uh huh. Give one action card with up to three value to the next player. Nice. So you can have that one. Thank you very much. And then, if you have another copy of it in your deck, search it and shop it to your deck. I don't know if I have that. Uh, you, you can you can search. Okay. Then, and you have the uh, all the keywords. Uh, yeah. all, all the highlighted words are on your keywords list. Uh, on your okay. on, on your player mat. Yeah. So uh, search... I do not have another copy. Okay. Then you just uh, I think then you deal damage equal to its value. Which so you deal one damage. Oh, the val oh, sorry, the, the card I gave you, not the card I played. No, no, no. Okay, what did I give you? I you you gave I me a one. What type? What was it? Uh, it, was a, it was a dewdrop. Dewdrop, okay. Uh, I, I do have another copy of that. Okay, so then you don't deal the damage, but you get a dewdrop in your hand. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if you have a copy of it, so, so I'm now looking up, just to check the wording. Mm -hmm. Search, reveal the top action card of your deck one by one until you find those one and draw it and Okay, so I can just, yeah. I can just look for it. Also. Yeah, you can you can just uh, search for it and then... Uh... And that's going in my hand? Yeah, and then you uh, shuffle your deck. And I'm so sorry that we're kind of ping-ponging right, ping right now. That's something I have to still figure out to... Uh, make sure that ping-ponging doesn't happen. Yep. But it's a real drag to sort of balance the the direction of play mm -hmm. mechanic in such a way that it doesn't do that. Uh, I've tried to balance it with... Uh, by... What's it called? By giving the players the action slot so they can only play four cards, so they have to uh, play to uh, other yep. sides. But... Yeah, sometimes people just don't have the ability to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I will play a photosynthesis uh, towards you because it's the only card I can play. Yep. Okay. Uh, I will gain a one uh, initial shield. So I will take a shield token. Those are the uh, brown tokens. And I will okay. place it above my... Uh, yeah, above my uh, initial stat. Uh, I don't deal damage because it's a four, and I may harvest one of my action cards. And harvest, you can see on the keyword list, is collect an action card from an action slot. And if it wasn't yours, give it back after combat. Uh, but I can only uh, harvest one of my own with this one, so I, I will take a receding light back and move this one up. And then you are again. It's your turn. Okay. Um, so what did you play against photosynthesis? Yeah. Photosynthesis, uh, four light. So what's my options of what I can play? I think the only option... shadow, I can yeah. play a shadow card. Yeah. But I can't play anything else, else unless it's above a four. True. And you can't play the shadow normally because it's a one, and you can only go two beneath uh, the four. Okay. So you can play it as a two, 
or you can take damage. Ba basically. So it wouldn't deal any damage? It, no, it wouldn't. Um, what's the danger of taking damage? Uh, basically, uh, if you look at your stats, yeah. uh, the Riddler would uh, deal one velocity damage. Okay. So, yeah, well, after one more it. damage, it would go to one. Basically, if you took two velocity damage, mm. you would only be able to play one above the previous card. Um, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll play my shadow card. All right. We're well, adjusting it to a two. Oh, it's toward me again. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, it's the only, only option I had. Uh, yeah. So I get a stone action card and draw an action card. All right. Uh, and I'm not going to deal damage because I can't. Yeah, I'm so I'm so sorry, Chris. I, I'm I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and get it towards you. I'm gonna stow a, a left direction so that I try not to get that back. Yeah. There we go. Uh, yeah. So uh, I'll 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 get a I'll do a bright bulb. So that's four damage. One, two, three, four. Uh, and the next shadow action card play deals its value as bonus damage. It's to the left. So Jinish, you're up. I need a bonus. I'm up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it, it deals some nice damage. Four damage. Okay. Yeah. Do we need to play a four or higher? A four oh, or yeah. higher? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've only got a f one four card, so. And it's you, you very got overkill. Eh? So can... Say again, Nick. Sorry. Because you've got a shadow. Because you're the shadow deck. You yeah. They bounce off the light, so. Yeah. So true. You can play for one. That's true. Exactly. And you can also take in consideration that, let's say, you deal enough damage to not kill uh, the Riddler. Uh, with an action card that plays to the left, you can activate your ability so you are closer to completing your character quest, which would upgrade your deck in the long run. Okay. Deal three bonus points of damage when you continue the direction of play. Okay, well then that's fine. Yeah. And it, it came round from the right. So it came uh -huh. from you, Roy, didn't it? Yeah, so you want to okay. play it to the left. Yeah. Oh, this, so... this has a chance to not kill, indeed. I, I've just cast Sneak Shadow. Yeah. Uh, stow one action card and draw one action card. So I'll stow another Luna, and mm -hmm. then I'll draw draw one from my deck. Yeah, and that's a. And then I've activated my special ability, which is deal three bonus points when you continue directions. So that is actually the four points. All right. Uh, no, deal you, you... damage equal to the difference in value between those action cards. Yeah, so you okay, stowed so a two, stowed you drew two. a... And I played a one, so it's one, then plus oh, three the, bonus. So, it, it's between uh, the action card you stowed and between the, and the action card you drew. drew. Oh, you, I drew. Yeah, drew. Okay, yeah. I, I drew a one as well, so it's exactly so, the same. Yeah. It's exactly um, the same. Yeah, so he's dead. Hey. I'm so hey. sorry, Chris. <laughs> You'll get your redemption story. <laughs> That's all, I'm just sat at the back sort of like... Yeah, you're, you're, you're best place to be in a, in a dungeon crawl, I think. Chris, safest place. Yeah, indeed, he's in the safest place. But now you uh, activated your uh, character ability, so you can uh, put your marble here to uh, one. Cool. Yeah, you, got you, you've got them all under. You can also uh, put them all on top of your character cards, so you can see them more easily. But no, that's, oh, that's, fine. Fine. that's fine. Yeah. Oh, is, but the hand I had was not very helpful. No, it was it, all ones. It, it, it was all one. Well, oh, there no. were three ones and a four. So oh, it was not a good hand. No, it so, was not a good hand. No. I was like, <laughs> so <sorry. laughs> you were sort of hoping it was not coming towards you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, then the most exciting thing is gonna happen because uh, we can all draw a uh, item card now as oh. loot because we we defeated the monster. Uh, you can get this one back from me. 
thank you very much for giving it to me. Well, you're very welcome. And... Did we get a coin as well? No, oh. no. Right now, we don't. Because uh, in, a, in an item room, instead of coins, you get an item. Okay. And then in a reroll room, instead of coins, you get to reroll one of the room dice on the map. Okay. Only, only in a, a real combat room with a C on it, you really get to uh, get coins from it. So you can be the first one to grab an item from this deck. That's, and you can that's just one, lay, isn't it? lay it on your uh, item slot. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, flip it, yeah. Ooh. Rotate. Nice. You can rotate with Q and E. Okay, fine. Yeah. So that is a... I got knotted, knotted bandages. Heal a trait of your choice by one for every ten value you play in a round. Nice. Alright. So, if you manage to play a ten value in a round and you have taken damage, then you get to heal. Okay. What's trait? Uh, that's a stat, sorry. Mm. I, okay. I've been a bit inconsistent in the wording there. Uh, no, then uh, Chris can be the second one to draw an item. Okay. What's he got? I have... Ooh, paper, paper gloves. gloves. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's, a ge uh, that's a shield for hand size. Okay. That's pretty good. So once per combat you can uh, protect your hand size for one damage. Then up to Nick. Okay. Is there any reason, Nick, you don't draw your actions back into your draw deck? Is I haven't that... done it yet. Okay, that's that's the only reason. Okay. It's on my to-do. Okay, fine. <laughs> so I've got the Mask of Duality. Oh no. <laughs> only plus. plus one effective velocity, minus one effective hand size. Every time a monster attacks, you decide which player takes direct damage from the monster attack. Yep, you you got uh, one of the most expensive items in game <laughs> right now. <laughs> so congratulations! Yeah, appropriate for the match. Yeah, I'll swap you for <laughs> some knotted bandages. <laughs> <laughs> so does that affect my velocity and hand size right away? Yeah, it does. Yeah, so you can adjust them, uh, and one effective is to the first stat in which it changes. Yeah, so your velocity goes up one, and that goes down two, to the four. I'm so sorry. In this case, you take sort of take oh, so damage. So it goes down two? Uh, yeah, because it, it's one uh, effective. One, okay. one effective. So it, it's right. uh, the first okay. one to give you a different, uh, different yep. number. And then I will draw as well, and I will draw a linen cloak. And Linen Cloak uh, gives me the ability to lower the value of an action card by one for this turn. Nice. And it recharges after after combat. But now Nick can just always choose... You lose. <laughs> yeah. You're the one that takes damage. <laughs> I don't like you, so... <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Don't attack me, attack him. <laughs> exactly that. Yeah. That's my place now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Wait, why does it want to go in the back? I thought it was... Inf okay, it's not... Does it have... In oh, it is infinite it's thunderclouds now. Oh no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, then, because... Uh, Jin has played yeah. the last action card again. Uh, he may... Draw... Uh, he may choose first from which uh, uh, deck to draw. And I draw three, you say this time? Yeah, you you always draw three. Okay. And then you choose one to keep. Got you. Yeah. So now this one cannot be chosen from. And Chris will be the second one to choose uh, from which one he wants to get an action card. So... I've got mostly Dusk cards mm -hmm. in there, um, and I know I've got a Shadow card in there. Alright, 
So Ooh. you would like to be able to uh, have complementation with the people sitting next to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so you all already have lots of uh, possibilities to play with uh, Nick, but not that many to play to Jinners with complementation or to react to Jinners if plays to you. So it might be advisable for you to uh, pick a light action card so that you can react in case he plays a high value shadow action card toward you. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's three three cards and choose one. Yeah, three cards to choose one. And then they can choose. Yeah, I'm going for the dusk deck. Okay. All right, then I will choose one from the dawn deck. Uh, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Draw, draw, draw. Next player draw. Oh, this is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't. Uh, you would still get coins if you uh, if you drew uh, an extra card with a value under three. Yep. To keep. Yeah. Coin. And so Nick, because you're the merchant. Mm -hmm. You you would like to gather as much coins as possible, so you have uh, the most possibilities to uh, to play. Yep. yep. Uh, and then you can also choose to not get an action card. What? Uh, if you if you want to, uh, but and then you would get uh, the maximum amount of coins, so that it would be three in this round. But next round it's four, and so on. Okay. Uh, so now, uh, Jinners entered combat first, so he gets to uh, move first as well on the map. And what we see now is that there are choices, because there are multiple paths. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, and for this path in particular. Uh, the choice is actually not there for him yet. Because what you see is that there are colored paths on the map. Yep. And those paths are affinity specific. So the blue one right here can only be walked on by the Dawn player. Mm -hmm. the, the yellow one here can only be walked on by the light player, yellow one with the dusk player, and the dark blue one for the shadow player. But they're all followed by a warp in room. And that means that you can uh, warp one player toward you. So we've got to split the party in a sense, is that what you... Uh, we could. Okay. We could. There is, there is the choice to do that. And, and what's, it, what's the benefit of doing that? Uh, well, in some sense, uh, there could be a benefit... Uh, wait, why would... Yeah. Uh, Let's say uh, some people have a very uh, easy time completing their character quest and others okay. don't. And the others have the chance to go t through three fireplaces uh, after each other uh, if they split off from the party. Uh, then they would like to uh, split off. But in most other cases, there uh, isn't really a case to be made. Or maybe some people rather want items and other ones want coins, but they have to split to get those things. Okay. Uh, th that's mostly it. Um, yeah. So, uh, Janus, you can move first, and then it is. Uh, then it's Chris, then it's Nick, and then it's me. I'm just gonna, just in my head, if like one player did choose to go the other path, that's going to effectively increase the number of account encounters that we have per yes. game, isn't it? Okay. True. Uh, 
and if everyone chose to go a different way, that's that's quite a few additional yeah. encounters, isn't it? True. Uh, okay. It could get quite long. Yeah. Uh, in that in that case, and the, the game is quite long already, but. That, that's because uh, there used to be only combat in the combat rooms, that's why it's called the combat room still. Uh, but there were games in which uh, there were no combat rooms rolled. Uh, and those games would end in half an hour. <laughs> and almost not, it, it would only be adding action cards from the top deck to the bottom deck, adding monsters from the one deck to the other deck. Even though you know you wouldn't really. Uh, encounter them until much later on and it, it, it was just a chore instead of what the game is really yeah. about and that's combat mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so I kind of uh, yeah it, it was do I want to make it more uh, a more quick uh, experience or do I want it to make it a more yeah I don't in my mind a more immersive experience mm -hmm. an experience with the, the core mechanic uh, uh, being there more and more and more so now that's what it's come to and that's uh, the way that in which the game evolved okay uh, so uh, let's see Nick you gotta uh, move as well Right. Or is the um, so I, yeah I don't think there's any need to split the path just yet. Yeah, I I yeah, think so too. To. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're all in the reroll room now, and that means that as soon as we defeated the monster here, we can just uh, take one of the dice each and mm -hmm. try and hope uh, to make the the palace more more favorable for us. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, we can encounter one, two, and three value monsters here now, and I, th I think I'll just kind of rig this because because why not? <laughs> I mean, I don't want you to have an easy time here, do I? <laughs> Who wants to know what they're encountering? <laughs> it's gonna be bad, you know. Yeah, it's gonna be an umbrella bat. <laughs> an See umbrella the guy? bat. Oh, no. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I was at a loss for names. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> it has a 12 plus 4 times floor number uh, health. So here, that would be 12 plus 12, which is. Oh, plus 16. Oh, no, so we were floor 3, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're at 3. So that's, uh, that's 24. 24. Indeed. <laughs> Uh, it deals uh, one velocity damage, and the ability is a bit less straightforward than the other ones we had until now. So the first time any player plays their fourth action card in a round, they have to fade it and try again. So basically, you're screwed if you haven't thought of a good strategy yet uh, for the fourth action card you play. Most likely. Uh, you'll have to sort of uh, strategize beforehand so that you have a hand in which you could play that action card again or a similar one. Or at least make sure you could play at least two uh, action cards because you'll have to play a second one. Do you, is, it, is it clear for everyone? Yep. Yeah, I think so. All right. Yeah. Then. The Dusk player may start. And we all draw up to our hand size. That's you, Chris. Yeah. Uh, Chris gets into combat at last. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Send him up the front. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> Lead the way, Chris. Okay, so. Don't have many particularly high cards. So I think what I'll do, I do, I play a wishing star. Mm -hmm. So that means I'll actually need to draw a card. Yeah. So then hopefully I get something with a higher number down the line. Smart. Um, and play passes to uh, Nick. All right. Very nice. Just checking my deck 
So what did you play, Chris? You played a... Uh, I played a, a number one. Okay. And you played a dusk, didn't you? Yes. Okay. So, and also, if you have any questions about the cards in your hand, there's an entire catalogue. Yeah? Oh, there's an entire catalogue uh, in the back of the rulebook that most likely answers your question. <laughs> So, so in, in case you want to find out for yourself, you can also just ask it, but... Okay, I'm doing check. a scathing light. Alright. Uh, deal one damage to all enemies. And nice. Then back to okay. um, can I just check my special ability? Yes, of course. Around, I can skip a player in the direction of play. Mm -hmm. So does that happen at any time, or is it basically I can just skip my go and pass on to someone else? Uh, you, uh, no, no, you can, uh, when you play an action card, instead of, uh, going immediately to the right, it skips uh, one to the right, so, it. yeah. it, it, it's a ranger, it's an archer, it's so, yeah. it, it sort of uses a bow and arrow to, uh, pass on the turn, uh, l the long way around, yeah, is what okay. I had in mind. Yeah, I see. That makes sense, then. Uh, okay, I will go for a receding light, which does mm. two damage. Wait, you can't. Dun, dun, dun. So, uh, you can only play higher, normally. Ah. You, you can never play the same value as the value ah. played before you. Sorry, yes. Um... Except for the bard character. The bard character can do that. That's his ability. Uh, I'll go and set for magnetic moon. All Two. right. So it does Deals three damage three to all damage. enemies. Nice. Uh, I draw a card. Uh, shuffle it. Um, shuffle it back. It's not dusk or shadow. All right. Three uh, damage. It's nice. dusk. So it's nice. So you keep it. Yeah, I dealt the damage. Oh, cool. Thank you. Yeah. And it's back to Nick. Alright. Okay, so the only thing I can play is some more sleep. Nice. I mean... I'm, I'm going to give you the sneak card. Ooh. I don't have any more of that in my deck. So you deal so one damage. I deal that you know, one damage. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I think. Okay, then... Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I will react to that. The only way I can, mm -hmm. because this was a four, yeah. I will have to play that. No, wait. Oh, wait. I take damage. <laughs> I take damage. Uh, I cannot play. Uh, I have uh, one through four in my hand, but I do not have a dusk action card in my hand, mm -hmm. so I cannot play right now. Uh, then, unless you would like to uh, redirect any damage, I will gladly uh, accept my fate. You, you can take the damage for now. Uh, I'll, thank I'll you. look at it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so someone else later. That's one velocity damage to me. Uh, so I only have two velocity now. Uh, and now, a, a round has ended, and that means all your played action cards go uh, back on your draw pile uh, and you shuffle it and you can choose to either uh, keep your current hand or draw back up to your hand size but you can't keep your hand and draw up again up uh, to your hand size it's, it's either one of the two is the is the count restored back down to one again? Sorry. The 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 act the um I can't remember what it's called the the number in the top corner is it is it back down to one? Uh. So the um. I see. So you, you don't technically have any played actions now. Yeah. Oh yeah, you, you don't have any played actions now. Yeah. yeah cool. True. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
indeed. Uh, so I took the damage there, and I will keep my hand. Okay. Uh, and now I can play, because I was the one taking damage. Uh, and I will play to the left. I will, I will use that nice action card you gave me. Uh, and I will stow a magnifying glass with it. Coins here. And I will draw a laser pointer. So I deal exactly zero damage. <laughs> <laughs> but because I'm a sorcerer, I play it again. <laughs> so now I... Wait. Yeah. I uh, stow a laser pointer that I just drew, and I draw again, and I draw another laser pointer, and I deal zero damage two times. <laughs> this is the master play, but even though I dealt zero damage two times, I can uh, move up my marble because I didn't <laughs> use my uh, ability. Yeah. And then it's Jinnah's turn. Cool. So, um. I'm going to play uh, Deterred Light Shadow, deal 4 damage to all enemies, if possible stow at least one non-shadow action card to deal the amount of stowed action cards as a bonus damage. So I'll stow uh, Light, so I've just done 6 damage. Alright. Uh, wait, 6? Yeah. 2 and 4. Is that oh. right? Uh, no, you, uh, do the amount of stowed action cards as bonus damage. So, you stowed one, oh, uh, non-shadow oh, non right. action okay. card here, yeah. So, that's one extra damage. So, you dealt five in total. Okay, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it goes to 14, and back to me. Yeah. I will just, uh, pass it on, as it goes. With the sunlight dealing two damage because it deals damage equal to half the amount of action cards in my hand. Well, and it goes back to Nick. Hey, what's the thing? Anything? What did you play? You played a. I played a sunlight, a two light action card. Two. So I have to play a two or a three or higher. Three or higher, yeah. Because you gave your shadow one to me. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm correct. Okay, so the only one I can play is Light of Spring. Light of Spring. Deal two damage. Next player draws action cards until they draw one with four value. That's Enjoy. sweet. And basically, I have my four value on my hand already, so I'll draw sort of the rest of my deck here. Brilliant. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Yeah, that's my entire deck in my hand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm very happy. Um, what will I do? What will I do? You know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do this. I can do this. Uh, I will play Photosynthesis. It's a four value light action card. I will gain a one initial shield. And I will deal damage equal to the amount of action cards played this round, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Because I don't count the card itself. Uh, so that's 4 damage. Goes down to 6. Yeah. Uh, and I will harvest one of my own action cards. And I will oh, harvest yeah. Sneak. And this moves this way. And now it's your turn again, Nick. Okay, I uh, what did you, you took back before. I have got nothing. Oh no! Either four. Yeah. Uh, ones and twos. Uh, but what did you play? You played a. Yeah, I played a four. Yeah, I've got no shadow. Uh oh. <laughs> now who can I redirect this onto? <laughs> someone will taste your wrath. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what type of damage is it? Lost to damage. Uh huh. You can just uh, have a look who can uh, take that most easily. Uh, so, Chris will put down for three. I can. So, could I, could I block it with the shield? Uh, what shield? Yeah! The, no, the uh, th this, this is a hand size shield, 
so it only uh, blocks hand size damage. Ah, okay. Th there's also an item for uh, velocity shields and an item for initial shield. Got it, yeah. Uh, we will most likely encounter them in the shop later on. Mm -hmm. If we even... Hit that far. <laughs> 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 no, th th there's a shop at the seventh floor. There's a shop at the seventh floor. We, we can do this. <laughs> We can get there. We can do some rerolls in a minute anyway. Yeah, we can do some rerolls as well. So, I'm going to redirect that onto Chris because I think he can take that the, the uh, velocity damage a bit better than I can. Please don't take it personally. <laughs> don't take it personally, Chris. <laughs> uh, so, uh, where does it come off? Your your uh, bottom one here. Yeah, the bottom one. Let's okay. go down by one slot. Does that have immediate effect? Does uh, it discard a card immediately or? No, it's uh, it, it, it's effect oh, is basically sorry. that yeah. you can only play three higher than the yeah. previous card now, instead of yeah. four higher than a previous card. I mean, if it if it reduced the hand size, just as a hypothetical. Uh, that would, would that, uh, that would have no immediate effect. No. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just... Okay, so the round's over. Mm. Yes. So you can choose to. Uh, Keep your action cards in your hand or put them back in your deck. Uh, and all your played action cards go back in your deck. Your stowed ones stay stowed and your faded ones get back to you. Uh, and then if you uh, put your hand back, you can draw up to your hand size again. And then after that, it's Chris's turn. Right. Okay. Oh, actually, this bat's got left six health. Um. So. Okay. Nick, you want an extra card? I'd love an extra card. Because I can either do two direct damage and pass it on to Jinners, or I can just allow you to take an extra card. Um, um, well, I think give it the more damage at the moment. Yeah. Um, are you able to play a card, Jin, if I do that? Uh, what number's on it? Uh, it's what, number one. Uh, so, so anything over a one? Anything over a one. Yeah, well, I like your uh, velocity. Yeah, uh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, okay, cool, I'll do that. So I'll, I'll do nice. two, two yeah. damage. Nice. Cool, get there. And it's Jin, it's over to you. Okay, so I'll play a Lunar Expansion, deal two damage, play any other shadow action card within velocity, including those of one value. Yeah, so you okay. can choose one from your hand yeah. and uh, just put it in the second action slot. Yeah. Uh, what way did it go? Okay, yeah, so... Right. Okay, yeah, right. I'm gonna yeah. play that Ooh. as well. That so, is. I do four damage there, so I've just done six damage. Yep. Um, yeah. I also continue the direction. So... But you don't deal damage with it. I'm so sorry. Why, 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 why? Uh, because the damage active <laughs> activated after the monster is already dead. Ah, uh, right, yeah, okay. Doesn't win. matter. Yeah. I fine. still want my yeah. bonus point. <laughs> yeah. And then you have to slow a card. Uh, that's fine. It's sent around now anyway, isn't it? So... Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You Red killed it. Nice. So, now we can put all our cards back again in our deck. And I will give the sneak back to you. Thank you very much Thank again. You. Wait, did you give me a right? Oh no, I got the Rise of Spring myself. Uh, and did I did not add the cards yet. So I will now. Because we are going to the second floor in a minute, we will be able to draw four value action cards. I, I am but curious, uh, one question I've got, and I... I... Yeah, of I'm course. Ju I just want to ask: Have you actually timed how long the game lasts? Yeah, yeah. What's I have the timed average it. play? Uh, the average play is two hours. 
Okay, because I'm. It's that on tabletop simulator. Yeah. yeah okay. But it, this was uh, before it was on tabletop simulator. I uh, I played it with uh, some friends. Yeah. Uh, in in real life, and those are the same people that also played it with me on tabletop simulator. So okay. they al already sort of knew the gist of it. Uh, and yeah. With I'm just curious. That, that, that's with all. that considered, uh, it uh, takes about two hours okay. to uh, play it out. We have just hit one and a half hours. Yeah. Just Wait, letting what? you know. Yeah. What? Already. Yeah. I already. I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't apologize. <laughs> but I just wanted to raise it as we're not even out the yep. woods, guys. Come on. No, we're not out. <laughs> What's going on? So. We're not even in the palace. Uh, it, it, it's it's a hard one to. Uh, yeah, I am not the best at explaining. No, 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 uh, it's anything. fine. I so uh, it, it is mostly because of that that uh, the uh, learning curve sort of is is pretty steep mm -hmm. at the at the start. Uh, is what most people have said to me because there's not like a normal mana system, and then if you can play because of your mana, blah blah blah. But you have stats, and they correspond with value, and then if you have a certain mm -hmm. affinity, blah blah blah. Uh, so sure. it, it, it sort of uh, it catches some people off guard. Yeah. Uh, but I think you, I you think fought, you fought on Brit brilliantly. What what I'm implying to our yeah. team is my fingers are glowing with shadowy energy, and uh, we <laughs> should really panel these enemies back to whatever demon oh. dimension they came to, and and try and oh, yeah. try and get through them as quickly as possible. Is what I'm... yeah, of course, yeah, I, I'm. I'm completely agree and also because you uh played the last action card you can uh be the first one to re-roll a room okay so what 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 do we prefer what are we looking for uh well we have to fill up our item slots okay so we want eyes we want item rooms or shops so we can choose which item we get we're we re-rolling aren't we so yeah, yeah just so uh yeah it generous just rerolled this into a reroll room okay and uh then it's chris's turn to reroll something uh, okay so reroll the combat <laughs> yeah reroll the combat <laughs> Should we go for it? Avoid the monsters as much as possible. We, yeah. want items as well, <laughs> we want items, we don't want monsters. Yeah! yeah. That's what we want, Chris. Well done. Nice. Alright. We've got lots of nice, cozy fireplaces. Yes, we do. Um, there, you, there you can also heal the damage you took from uh, obtaining yeah. the Mask of Duality. Yeah. Okay. Right. Did I get one to reroll? Uh, yeah. You do. Uh, let's re-roll the re-roll. Re-roll the re-roll. All right. Also nice. Nice. Item. nice. Oh yeah. Then I will just throw a wrench in our plans to re-roll this one. God. It oh, didn't do place. anything. It is still <laughs> a fireplace. <laughs> oh, you guys are lucky. <laughs> very, very lucky. Uh, okay, so then. Uh, we have a killer in our Oops. midst because Jenner just keeps on doing it again and again, and he can choose first again. Highly suspicious. That okay. Is. Highly um, suspicious indeed. <laughs> so I don't want shadow, basically. So, I mean, you could. You could also just play a full-on shadow deck if you want. It's a completely no. legit strategy. I, I've got a couple of cards that I need to synergize with other stuff, so. Okay. Um, deal free damage to all enemies. Draw one. None of these I'll be able to play. <laughs> if I go for another light. Okay, done. All right. How many and cards if... are you drawing? Three. So, oh, and you guess, uh, did you just draw a magnetic moon, Janice? Uh, I think so. Because then you also get uh, two coins. Because the maximum you could have drawn was a four, and you drew a two. Okay. 
Cool, I'll take coins. I like yeah. coins. Exactly. Um, I'm gonna take. Uh, so, should I take some shadow or just some dawn? Uh, whatever you want there. I think I'm gonna take some shadow for a Ooh. Gonna be edgy. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I okay. will. Oh, those are quite nice. Uh, will I. Yeah, I, I think I. I don't need those coins. I'll just get a. Uh... Yeah. Oh man, that's a good card. I want the money. What, what did you What did you see? I've got some dark flames. Oh yeah, dark flames is nice. I also want the money to so use my ability. That is a conundrum. Uh, I will. Uh, no, I'm gonna go for the big boys. Yeah, big boys. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> nice. You're gonna do some big damages. If I draw the card, of course. <laughs> if you draw the card, yeah. There is some there is some luck involved. Oh, I've had plays that uh, or just rounds that I started and I looked at my hand and it was all ones. And it was so sad. But there is <laughs> a way to get rid of your action cards as well. We'll what? get to that in uh, a couple of floors. Uh, uh, fireplace, sorry? Yeah, it's at the fireplace indeed. Yeah. Have you looked through the rule book? I've been skimming it, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so at the fly fireplace you have one of th uh, three options to take. Nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jinners can choose first where to go. Which one's going to give us less combat? <laughs> uh... I and we think... need items, don't we? So let's go to the item room, I suppose, isn't it? I mean... Uh, Nick, you read the rule book. Yeah, we only... Uh, we only only need one more item per person, and we all all get an item in an item room. So... It's quite a few items in this coming up. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. So we could just very easily go to the left, if we wanted to. There's less combat there. Uh... Yeah, but we could also go to the right, and then there you can just refresh the items in your uh, inventory, basically. Okay. If there's any item you would rather want, or if you draw an item that you would rather want than ones you have right now, then you can uh, replace any of them, what? basically. All right. Okay. Yeah. We all going, all coming together. Yeah. 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 Sure. The power of friendship. <laughs> so uh, this is a fireplace, and you have three options here. You can uh, get rid of one of your action cards. You can heal one of your traits by one value, or one of your stats by one value, or you can uh, train and then uh, progress your character quest by the uh, specified amount in your character ability. Uh, you can do one of those three things. I'm just going to okay. buff my... Um, I'm going up to my hand size again. Yeah, I'm going up my, my hand size. size is pretty good. I'm moving up the, the other track. Uh, I fear I have to heal, so I, I am going to heal. And then we, we quickly move on again, is that correct? That is correct. And now, some of you, Let's see. the lucky fellows, oh. might find an X value action card in their deck. Or in their choices. And X value action cards, all X's on it, take the value of the action card played before it. Okay. Uh, so, but you can always play it. Basically. Because... It's always playable as an action card with the same value as the last one. That's okay. it. Uh, so it's gonna be Jinners again first. I think I, yeah, I shoveled everything. So nothing should be rigged here. <laughs> and then it's just a matter just of- take three cards. Yeah. Oh, 
Alright. And then Chris's turn. Uh, and if I take a one and I've got a five. If you take a one, you coins. get four coins. Yeah, exactly. Life change. All right, then I will grab from Shadow. What, what are the coins used for? Sorry, I might have missed that. One. Uh, the coins are used in the shop to uh, purchase items or uh, Eclipse action cards. And Eclipse action cards are a very weird form of action cards that is those are only findable in the shop. Okay. Uh, and we'll see them when we'll see them. They are very powerful, uh, and they let you choose who plays next. That's what they do. Okay. So, question on the X cards. Yeah. If I take an X card, what do I get any money for that, or is that equivalent to the nope. level? You do not. You do not get any money for it. Yeah, that's fun. But they are OPOP <laughs> as well. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, so that's kind of how I tried to how, how I tried to balance them. Also, if you find an X value card in the shop, because there is an Eclipse X value action card, if you find it in the shop, uh, you uh, pay floor number for it, floor number coins. So in the shop up here, on the seventh floor, you would pay seven coins for it. Uh, how many coins am I getting for taking? I took a one value. If you took a one, you will get four coins. So it's the equivalent to the room level. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Really nice. And then I guess we will combat. Combat, indeed. And now there are mini bosses in uh, the the pile to draw from. <laughs> oh joy! Oh joy, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Do you want one? Because I can rig this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I won't. Oh, oh sh th this is not any better, but <laughs> this is the anthropomorphic cloud. <laughs> uh, it deals two velocity damage to all players when it attacks, oh. but it ups all its killer stats by one. That's its ability. Nice. So. If, if you're looking to kill it, Jenner's <clears throat> most likely, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then uh, you get to increase all your stats by one. Okay. But for now, it's the our dusk man coming up. If everyone uh, draws up to their hand size again, first shuffle then draw. I've got health of forty if I can't that correctly. I think it does. Yes. Holy moly! Uh, this is nothing. If, if the the bosses, yeah, you, you'll see in a minute. The bosses uh, start with uh, some uh, interesting health. <laughs> Quite interesting. <laughs> We're gonna die, guys. Easily. <laughs> uh, there, there's a pretty big chance to die. Yeah, I, I haven't died in. Uh, a while in this game. That's because I've played it with guys that play it a, played a lot, and then you have some sort of strategy uh, already developed for something you can. Because uh, there there are lots of interesting card interactions that you can play, uh, and as soon as you find them, you're like, "Whoa, this is something I could do." Mm -hmm. But uh, they're sort of hidden in the mechanic itself. Sometimes. You only notice when you play it, and you're like, "Oh shit! If I, if I had seen this before." So it, it, it's it's a lot of uh, what's it called? Uh, sort of discovery. It's it's a lot of discovery through mm -hmm. trying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna go for a, a dew drop. The yeah. next player draws uh, an action, uh, yeah, an action card. Oh, thank you very much. That's me. Um, actually, yeah, I think, yeah, 
If I use my ability to skip it, mm -hmm. then, then it goes to me. Yeah, then it, it goes to you, and then and you get one up and also gives me one up. One. All right. Well, thank you very much. Oh no, that's search. I won't do that. Uh, draw. Ooh. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Uh. Pretty good. Then because I drew an action card. You know what, what I think I'll do? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna play a Bright Bulb to the left. It is a three value light action card and it deals four damage to all enemies. So to one enemy. Uh, and the next shadow action card deals its value as bonus damage. Oh, so, one, Say two, again, three, sorry? Uh, I dealt four damage, and the next shadow action card deals its value as bonus damage. That's the one I was going to play. Alright, you can. So that's seven damage immediately. And then if you can, uh, you have to stow at least one uh, non-shadow action card. If possible. So I have if to possible. do it. Uh, yeah, if you can, you have to, yeah. Yeah, okay, so stow. Oh no, I'm so oh. sorry. <laughs> oh, that's so Maybe sad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that one. Yeah, I mean, can I take that back? Yeah, of course, Bit of course bounces. you can. Um, there are but it's got to be over... What's it or got to be over? Or it's be four or higher, but... Uh, it's a four or higher, or a two or lower. A two or lower? Because, okay, let's because do a sneak. It's a sh uh, because it's a shadow. Stow so one action card and draw one action card. Nice. It's, uh... and that oh, does... oh, no, no, that's the, that's the Eclipse deck, sorry. That you just uh, drew sorry. Me. No, that's okay. That, that can happen. That's fine. Um... Yeah, so I've just done that. Deal damage equal to the difference in value between those two cards. So I just got a two and a one. So I do one damage, but I've continued the direction. So yes, nice, you got it. So that's four. Yeah. yeah. And he deals one from the one you passed on. Sorry. Your bright bulb powers his. Oh yeah, him. that too. That too. Nice. You paid attention. <laughs> Yeah. So then we got five total. Yep. So it's at thirty-one HP. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, indeed. <laughs> mm. Right, going to the crystal, eh? Is it? Oh, it's me. Um, what number are we on? Okay. Um, it's one of two things. Either Nick or Roy, do either of you have shadow cards in your hand? Are I you? have a three shadow card in, in my hand. I have a one shadow card. Okay. But you used your range precision already this oh, round. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Okay, that's cool. Otherwise, I had to yeah. bump up those numbers quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you would have okay. to use it like 16 times instead of eight. <laughs> okay, I will do that then. Um, so, in fact, better option. Okay, so if I go for play night vision. Mm -hmm. Night uh, vision. And then night. I stow that three card. Oh, damn. Three mob cards. Yes, um, you do. Oh, that's a hefty card. And then that's over to me then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what did you play? You played a uh, dust. Okay. Was that dust green? Uh, yeah, dust green. Okay, so I can play a dust two or one. Sorry, dawn two or one or four. Uh, so I've got a question. Um, the card I've got in my hand. Yeah. It says deal four bracket six damage. Yeah, so the brackets, uh, that's the blue text. Mm. And okay. the blue text activates as soon as you're 
deck is upgraded. So all uh, five and higher value action cards have bracketed text, the blue text. Mm. So if your deck is upgraded, uh, the bracketed text uh, is uh, goes into effect instead of the regular text. Okay. Yeah. Um, so when, when does sorry when, when does when do you upgrade your deck? Uh, that is when you uh, completed your character quest. So ah. when you uh, activated your ability, if you affect your, uh, if you activate your ability eight times, oh, yeah. you uh, up, you upgrade your deck. But then, uh, so for instance, uh, a few of those combats, uh, I don't think you use your ability at all, right? No. Yeah. Uh, so you're you're qu quite a bit behind now on on, on your character ability. But uh, that that's sort of the thing that through uh, combat, there's quite a big chance that you could. Uh, upgrade your deck it's something that would wouldn't happen every game mm. uh but there's a good chance if you play toward it as sort of a win condition mm. okay because it makes the the game a lot easier because some cards just get bonkers when you when you upgrade them yeah there's a card that's deal 10 damage and it becomes a deal 10 damage to all enemies mm. instantly yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you played it towards uh, Nick again. So I'm going to play a Rude Awakening. Nice. Two damage, and then give up to two action cards to the next player and draw an action card. Yeah. But uh, that means quick. you can also choose to give none. I figure so, yeah. 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 So you can also just use it as a draw one, yeah. if, if you want to. How many cards have you got left in your hand, Chris? Uh. Uh, five. You got five cards left. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay for? Can you play something next turn? Is it um, to what do I do? Sorry, two. I'm on two. Dawn. Uh, yeah, I can play. I can play a card. Okay, so I'll not um, pass you a card for now. Yeah. I'll just draw. It's quite nice. a big card. Put it that way. Cool. Um, so two damage. All, All right. right. Great. Has anyone done the damage yet? Uh, no. no. That damage, no, no. Okay. Down to 29. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just so, three plus. Uh, card I can Oh, damn. It's Lucid Dream. Uh huh. Uh, to lose four damage. Uh, deal the damage of another action card to your hand before you give it to it. Before you give it to the next player. Damn. Uh, so then. Ah, okay. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll work. Then I play Sunlight. Mm -hmm. So I deal damage equal to half the amount of cards in my hands. So that would be two. But. The last card I played is a Dawn card, so it doesn't have, so it's four damage. Hey, nice! So eight, yeah. eight, eight damage. Eight damage total. Exactly. Eight, eight, twenty-one. Nice. Yeah, and, and then, then you can. Uh, and then I give that card to. Yeah, you, you, you just give it in his hand. There you go. Uh, and then I draw two more cards. Uh, one more card. Yeah. Uh, very nice. And card. then it's uh, Genesis turn. Cool. Okay, so let's do some serious damage this time, eh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Someone's getting serious again, yeah. <laughs> of course. Collect one action card from every other player. If you play those action cards this combat, give them back instead. Okay. I, I am so sorry, though. I, I don't can think play you can play that one. No. I thought... Because it's a five. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. It would have been so good. Mm. Yeah. So, all I can do is... Hmm. Which direction did it go? 
round. Uh, it came from your left. From my me. left. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do Deterred Light then. And then I'll stow a Sunlight card. Y you can't. No, it has to be a, a Dusk card if you want to play now. Oh, no. right. Yeah, a Dusk card. Because Chris, Chris played a Dawn card. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it dealt great damage, so <laughs> it's fine. So, what's what? What do I need to go higher? Uh, you'll need higher. you'll need a six or higher to go higher, or a dusk four or lower. And what if I've got none of that? Then we're all screwed. You take it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this anthropomorphic cloud deals two. Yeah, I don't have that anything. <laughs> it deals two. Uh, velocity damage to all players so uh we're all gonna take some serious hits unless i redirect mine to someone else uh, no you can <laughs> you can only uh do direct damage so it, but it, if it's if it's hitting me isn't that direct damage uh well only if you are the primary target of the attack okay is. so well, I can't that. Let, let's let's say uh that you took uh, you were the one that couldn't play an action card. Mm -hmm. Then you could have been a real badass and <laughs> make someone take four velocity damage. Yeah. Most probably killing them. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm nearly I'm... dead. <laughs> Sorry? I'm back to one. Oh, yeah. Uh, me... One uh, velocity. Me too. I, I'm ca <laughs> kind of low on velocity right now. Yeah. I've got the. I wanted a nice fireplace for them, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the red HP uh, bleeper right now. <laughs> Ambulance sound. So we've got a decrease by how many? Two. Yeah, two points. Locked it down by three. Yeah. Um, which stat is velocity again? Uh, the lowest Anyone. one. The lowest one. one. Yeah, the lowest one. So, oh! One of the bottom of your card. Yeah, so I'm so... nearly dead as well. I think we all are. Yeah. So, so it, it's kind of... The difficulty scales up quite a lot here. That's... <laughs> yeah, that, that's sort of the, the deck building aspect of it. Yeah. Because you, you kind of all have to... Uh, sort of... Tweak your decks toward each other uh, in order to uh, make Practice sure everybody game. can play. Yeah. Practice game. <laughs> it okay. is, yeah. <laughs> Practice game indeed. Well, just just uh, wondering, are you all still having fun or uh, is, yeah, is, it, is it sort of a drag? Because uh, I know it, it's been going a while, so <laughs> yeah. I, I, I completely understand if some of you... We are, are thinking, just hitting two hours. Yeah, that, um, exa exactly, that's why. My... I think we should keep going until someone dies. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's keep okay, going yeah. until someone dies. Um, we'll probably fine. all die in the same round. <laughs> <laughs> we must we will. I'll that's be fine. honest, I'm not seeing us winning at all, and at this point <laughs> oh. I'm like, ah, oh, you know, chuck all my cards in. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not a negative at all, it's just, I don't no, see true. any victory. <laughs> we're, we're having a pretty hard time here. That, that's very true. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what you happens? You can play now. You, you can take revenge. And it's got to be up to two. I can play at the moment. Yeah. You can okay. reset your hands, can't you? Because we're a new round. Okay. Yeah, I'll oh, do no, that. The, the stowed stays stowed. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the only thing Sorry. that you don't get back. Yeah, that's fine. I think you've got this. There's definitely something here. I think it. There's. It's it's in early development. I think that's. Yeah, it is. It is like, it's uh, the total development time uh, right now has been uh, a long time. Yeah, uh, it has been uh, I think ten months, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, for sure for a first uh, a first playthrough, it, it's just it's it's just a harsh time. Yeah, uh, no, no. yeah. Uh, 
and like I, I don't want to be defensive at all. So no, 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 I'll, no. Of course, I'll, sorry. I'll, but, <laughs> yes. uh, but uh, yeah, I, I know the some of the mechanics, uh, or not mostly the playtime is uh, pretty a pretty harsh one. But I also don't want to make it too easy because the monsters have yeah, been yeah. too easy before. Yep. Uh, and if I let the extra cards deal less damage, it feels less satisfying. So it's, yeah, I can imagine. It's, it's definitely got that sort of Dark Souls element to it. Yeah, I, that's what the, I'm feeling. There's this sweet spot that you have to hit yeah. uh, in order to make it feel satisfying, but not take too long. And yeah, uh, you don't just hit through all mm -hmm. the monsters on the way up. Yep. Uh, so uh, it, it's it's re it's really hard to hit, and I I would love uh, if if you could give me any any direction with that. Mm -hmm. So. I'm uh, sure Nick's making notes. I'm thinking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> notes taking. Nice. Uh, nice. Okay, okay, so I'm going to deal two damage. Play any other shadow action card we're in, Vosti, including a one value. Turn continues from there. So, uh, so yes. stow one action card and draw one action card. So I'm going to play a second one, which mm -hmm. is sneak. Um, I am going to stow. Oh damn. sunset. But yeah. I'm gonna draw one and hopefully that's low. It's not, it's a free, so I get two no. damage. Okay. Uh that's deal damage that feels different. That feels bad. It was bad, <laughs> but I thought it was gonna be better. All. I know it. Um, <laughs> so I got two and four. Yeah. Four damage. One, two, that's three, four. I it's mean not, that's still not, something. It's not good enough, yeah. Nick, let's no. be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Right, 17 yeah, yeah. HP. We can bust through 17 oh, we HP, can take him can't down. we? Yeah. Hopefully. As long as he doesn't hit us, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, right, so which direction did it go in? It went to Chris. Okay. Take him down, Chris. Oh, um, dear. Um, well. So that's only one, isn't it, effectively? Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. play that same card we just did, and he killed us all. <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> Let's not play that card again. <laughs> no, maybe. I can play higher uh, than oh, two. It, it is it is a new round, so you can play it toward me. Yeah, uh, yeah. Easy ranger. But I can't play. I can't react to it. <laughs> that, that was the next question. Do you have a? Do you I'm have just, a number five? just saying you could. <laughs> That's yeah. for um, <laughs> okay. In that case, I'm just going to poke him in the eye. Oh, yeah. The, uh, oh, is it like Poke him with a stick. Two yeah. damage. Two damage. One, two. Uh, it's 15. Back to... Yeah. Back to Jinder. Um, and it's That's got to be above mm -hmm. one. Okay, yeah. fine. It, uh, mostly, you, you can only play a two right now. Because of your velocity. Yeah, yeah. sure. Really limiting to us. Oh, yeah, it, it is. Yeah, that, painful. That that's sort of what I was going for as well. That the more damage you take, the harder the game gets. Deal it damage sense, equal yeah, to yeah. the amount of action cards in your hand. Deal damage equal to half. Oh, that's only so that's, two. That's pretty rubbish as well. Uh, but um, it, it works. We're whittling it down. Yeah. Okay. I'll play that, that's, and I continue. You guys do a bonus as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So three as well. That that's some pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so there was a two light action card. Uh, how many action cards are played? That's wait, that's that's pretty good. Okay, 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 okay. So I will play photosynthesis here. Uh, I will gain a one Ooh. initial shield, which doesn't matter here, so I that's won't even. Very nice. I, I won't bother, but <laughs> I will uh, deal one, two, three, four damage. Yeah. One, two, three, four. And I cannot harvest an action card because I haven't played one before this. So it's yeah. now next turn. So the, does the velocity applies in the opposite direction if I play the shadow, is that right? So I can only yeah, play a true, three true. shadow. Yeah. You can. You can okay, play I a three. I haven't got a three shadow. Nice. I do have a four though. The only thing I've got that I can play. And you can use your merchant ability to uh, modify value by one. Um, 
Yeah, I can't modify it with three though. Hmm. Um, oh no, wait, you played a four, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh, so I have to play a five or a three? Yeah, a shadow, yeah. Wait, okay, it, so what? I'm going to have to play a, a dawn because I can't play the shadow. So I'll have to adjust it for five. So, playing that, I will pay. What would we five? So I'll pay two. Yeah. Make it a five. Which means I'll go two up on my new track. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> Are you sure you want to play toward me? Is that is that it's the only, the only thing? thing I can play? Really? Yep. Then I'm sorry, guys. I I will. What, what did I play? I played a dawn. Yeah. But, uh, did you have a shadow action card in your hand? I did, but it's a value one. Uh, you have two velocity still, so you can up it to a two. Oh, I can. Yeah. Uh... So I could, yes, which I can then play, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's much better. It's still back to you, but it's now well, a one. <laughs> it's much better, it doesn't kill us. <laughs> yeah, throw a card and draw a card, okay. So I will... Okay, and I can combo on this. Because I have... Uh... Nice. Let me just equal value between those action cards. Uh... What do I draw? I draw the four, so I drew four, so I deal three damage. Nice. Then I That's think not bad. We do kill it. We actually do. Wow, oh, yeah. Because I play a laser pointer, and that's Shining. four damage. Light uh, in the eye. Plus two damage. Uh, so that's yeah. six damage. It's a minus three. Sweet. Nice. And, uh, and you killed it. You get a bonus. I get a bonus. Hell yeah. All your stats start by one. Uh, played the game before or something. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so well, there, and I will make sure everything is here. Uh, it's a shame if it would die because there are some pretty good action cards coming up already for uh, for us to choose from. Yeah. But this this was a regular combat room, so that's just four coins for all of us. Two, three, four. Four coins. Oh, nice. Yeah, you like those. I do. Is that my thing? Uh, I want the coins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I killed the. Uh, <laughs> I killed the, uh, the amorph. The, the anthropomorphic cloud. Um, anthropomorphic. Yeah. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, so, I, I will uh, draw three from <laughs> the uh, light deck. So. Okay. Oh, those are some high cards. Thank you. I got an X value. Pretty happy. <laughs> uh, then, yeah, it's Jimmy's turn. Okay. Can you take a quest for doing? Uh, I'm going to go for Shadow. Okay, I guess I'm taking Shadow. All right. Oh, did you uh, shuffle it beforehand? The uh, Dawn no. Oh, no. Then if, if you shadow. want, you can uh, you can just draw again, because I might have not... Uh... Yeah, shuffle it, indeed. Looks like fun. So, what's the the income rule? Is if you take a card lower than the room value, uh, uh, per value that you uh, draw the lower difference. than the room value, you get. Uh, no wait, uh, sorry, per value that you draw lower than the maximum you can, which is yep. four plus one, uh, you get a coin. 
Okay. So if, if you draw floor, if you draw equal to the floor value, uh, you get one okay. coin. If you draw okay. beneath it, it's one for everything beneath it. Okay. Yeah. So I am taking. I don't get any coins because I'm taking the the good stuff. Nice. All right. Okay. Are we moving up to items or are we going to do it? Uh, well, you can walk. there's down. actually uh, something to be said here for uh, uh, you, uh, Nick and Chris, to uh, go to the shop, uh, go to the warp in. Like, uh, one of. Which one of you? I think it was Chris that had the, the Dusk deck, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you could go to the warp in here and warp in uh, Nick, and that would leave uh, Jenners and me for or Jenners and me for uh, a duo combat in uh, the item room. <laughs> <laughs> I that's not gonna go badly, is it? <laughs> that <laughs> might, might go bad, but it's also we have complementation on our action cards, mo yeah. most of them. So uh, it could <laughs> also be uh, more beneficial. Mm. It, it's pretty volatile at this point because of the low velocity. But... I, I reckon we try it just to, just to try it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's warp it in. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> and then. Hi guys. We will not <laughs> see you later. Yeah. <laughs> just throwing us to the wolves. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, but at least if we survive, we get an item. I like the if. <laughs> uh, the owners are yours. <laughs> if we survive. Okay. Yeah. That's a good question, actually, about items, because we still we would still need an item, an extra item each. Does this yep. mean that Chris and I aren't going to go through any more item rooms? Uh, no. But you're going to go to the them? shop okay, where you can buy, buy an shop. item. Yeah. Uh, but Janus, would you like to draw a monster? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, cow, can man. I just like run at him and commit suicide? <laughs> We're not gonna do this, guys. This is insane. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. What's wrong with Like, at going? this point, if I was playing Dark Souls, I would have thrown my controller at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this, in that case, it is Dark Souls like. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> Genus, are you with me? <laughs> no, I'm running away. I can't even do that, can I? Um. You can't regress backwards in the place. There's no running away option. There's no running away. <laughs> no, I know that. So we've just got. Briefly, briefly. Okay, yeah, let's really let's. Really. We're playing to as far as one person dies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we okay. Do. We, we are. Right. We are. Don't worry. Four, I'm not going to keep five. you hostage. Will it's all right. Time. Six. Right. Okay, if we do this, it'll be hilarious. If we don't, it's going to be hilarious. So <laughs> yeah. let's it's let's give it a go. Either way, right? Um, I've only you... got. I can only do up to. Uh, what is it? Three. Oh, my controls have gone a bit funny. Hang on. Oh no. There we go. Um, I can do uh, up I to three. Do... All right. That's what I was on. I seem to have lost. That was also, one. this one deals initial damage, and your initial is not uh, is not damaged yet. So th there's a lot of opportunities here. Attack one plus damage to all players. Ability every time this monster's health is reduced below a tenfold, the player that dealt the damage shows two action cards. Okay, <laughs> that's yeah. gonna be end game. This is gonna be end game. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I've got to do low free at, at the moment. Yeah, we're, we're just yeah. the shop. Um, <laughs> totally unaware. 
Oh my god. You got elevator music playing and we're here fighting for our lives. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit Shaun of the Dead style at this point. Yeah, we're sort of like... Um, oh, do, what the hell are they doing? What the noise to come into that room? All those screams! Cries of death. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. So, Magnetic Moon, deal three damage to all enemies, draw one action card, shuffle it back in if it wasn't of a dusk or shadow affinity. Alright. Okay, so hopefully it should be shadow. It is it, shadow, so I get to keep eyes. it. Okay. In so, that case, free damage. I will no. play a deterred light for four damage together with a laser pointer to make it five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and, and he's gonna... And then it's yours again. Okay. Does, it, does his ability kick in, Roy? Uh, no, my ability, my ability does so not kick in, because I did... The, the golem's ability. Uh, oh, shit, yeah. That, oh. No, not yet. Not, no, tenfold yeah. would be 35. No, it, uh, it, it, it falls below uh, a tenfold, and a tenfold at least... Like, oh right, so below 40. 40. Every 10. 40, yeah. Right. Uh, so it, it is true. Thanks for it's pointing it out. That, right? <laughs> oh, so God. we lose uh, two cards. So two hurts, action this, cards. This hurts so much. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, done. Wait, uh... Do Oh no, uh, I you you didn't have to stow. Oh right, okay. So it was you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it was yeah, only me. Yeah, okay. you can you can play. And it's my go. Blow yeah. free. Okay, so deal four damage to one enemies if possible, stow at least one non shadow action card to deal the amount of stowed action cards as bonus damage. So I'm gonna stow two. Nice. So that's six damage. Alright. 31 here, and you deal 3 extra damage on playing it because you continue the direction of play. Okay, so another mm -hmm. 3. Did you just move it down? No? no. Yeah, I moved. I, uh, oh, not for the. Yeah, so I've three, now yeah. got to stow 2 cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I've got 1 card. <laughs> It might not, not have been a good idea to. Uh, <laughs> there was no way we were going to survive this guy. <laughs> charge it with the two of us. I will laser pointer though for I think it's six damage. Yeah, yeah. So it plays out twice. The first time, uh, it is t deal two damage and deal two bonus damage if the previous action card played this combat was dusk or shadow. It uh, was. And the second time it activates the previous action card was a light action card because it was this one. It was itself. We, yeah. yeah, so it deals nice. bonus damage, damage on the first try, no bonus damage on the second try, so it deals six damage total. Yep. Uh, two, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. And my character ability goes up one. It's so hopeful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and can, can you react to my one? Uh, I've got two, so... Yeah. Oh, it seems like you can. <laughs> Deal two damage, play any other shadow action card within the velocity, including those of one value. I don't. The turn continues from there. Okay. That's all my cards. So, yeah, uh, we now take uh, one initial damage, because I can't play. Uh, so, gonna adjust that marble, one down. Try it. I am. Yeah, it, it, it snaps to the numbers. So it's quite yeah, it snaps to the numbers indeed. Okay, so I'm dead then. Why? Oh, okay. no, that, 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 that's velocity. Uh, initial is this one. Sorry. Oh right, initial. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, the the multiple stat system is also uh, it, it's sort of complicated to get into. Uh, just uh, for starters. Uh, then. I was the one that couldn't play, so I'll play first. All right, all right. Um, you get to shuffle up and redraw, Jim. Yeah. End of the round. Uh, 
Uh, you played a shadow action card, right? Oh uh, your, yes. Your your very last one last turn. Yes, I did. Yeah. Then I will do something very cheeky and play laser pointer for six damage again because it <laughs> remembers the damage from the previous turn. Nice. Yeah. Okay, you just dropped and below ten though. Yeah, you got to discard three. Tenfold. Uh, uh, I don't think I'll uh, use this much, and I think. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I I, I stole two. Fourteen. We might be able to do this. There's a chance. So we're, sc we're screaming and bleeding, but... <laughs> I've got to play below a two. Uh, you uh, basically have to play a two, yeah. Can, can you play a two? Yeah, I can. Oh, because otherwise I could have lowered it to a zero with my linen cloak. Deal free damage to all enemies, draw one action card, shuffle it back if it wasn't a Dusk of Shadow. Yeah, let's let's go Magnetic Moon again. So it goes down by three. Right. Yeah, Draw and then cards. three again from your uh, ability. It's not... Oh, wait a minute. What, what's... Yeah, it's a dust card. I just drew a dust card, so it's alright. Mm -hmm. Then it goes yeah. down three, three again. And you have to discard two more cards. Yeah. <laughs> so two more. Indeed. Yeah, discard. Uh, Stow was called discard before, but some players got uh, confused because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I just renamed all the things, uh, <laughs> so no one could confuse them with anything. Yep. Oh, that was sort of the idea behind it. Yeah. Uh, okay, then it's. Uh, have you stowed already? Uh, how many cards have I got stowed? Two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Roll on the scaring you. Um, I'm gonna play that. Okay, done. All right. Then uh, I got one thing I can play. That's the bright bulb. It's four damage. One, two, three, four. And the next shadow action card plays deals it played deals its value as bonus damage. Can you finish it? What do I need uh, to play below? Uh, you can play, uh, let's see, your shadow stats. Two. Yeah, a, a shadow two or a shadow four or any other four. Okay, I can do a shadow four. You can do a shadow. Every time you stow action cards this round, also draw one action card, yeah. You might yeah. not believe it. But we've just done it, yeah. You just, it. you just done it. <laughs> You're six damage, yeah. Plus the extra three from you. And for your troubles, you can indeed just up your character's uh, character quest again, because th this was some miracle. <laughs> this was some absolute miracle. Is, that's the power of the synergy between the two. Yeah, that, that's the power of the synergy indeed. Yeah, because yeah. uh, as you notice, we we could constantly uh, refresh, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is really cool. It's just very powerful. Yeah. Right. So, uh, in some some of the better games I've had, uh, where everyone had their uh, decks exactly tuned towards each other, yeah. we could constantly go above and beyond, just uh, reset from one to, yeah. to three to six, back to three, to seven, to four, to two, <laughs> to one, and then j just the entire range. That, that's yeah. some beautiful dancing going around then. But this is dead for now, and we will get an item. Uh, and you can draw first because you killed it. <laughs> That's good. Damn. The shield every stat. Yeah. Yep. And no indirect damage. Yep. Crazy. So if something take uh, deals damage to all players. Uh, you don't take damage, mm -hmm. as long as it's not target. As long as you're not the one that dealt uh, 
uh, that, that couldn't play an action card. Because mm. if you were the one that couldn't play an action card, it is direct damage to you either way. Okay. And I uh, have Slime, slime Extract. extract. <laughs> so I can deactivate no. a monster's ability for one round uh, per combat. Uh, then we move up. And for both of us, that means we go into a shop. Yeah. Uh, but there's no real need for the shop at the moment, is there now? Because we've got uh, two well, items. They still need to... Well, we do. Uh, okay, yeah, them. you do. <laughs> yeah. You have uh, to balance on top of me. Oh, not oh no. <laughs> just put me next. Just put me next. <laughs> but first, uh, we can all... Uh, <laughs> Be before we open the shop, we can all uh, choose uh, three cards again and uh, choose one to keep. Uh, I think, Jinnis, you uh, did the uh, killing blow, so you can choose first. Mm -hmm. Hero of the hour. Yeah, hero of the hour. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Our hero when we were in need. Okay. In absolute trouble. Uh... I will uh, try and get a good light action card. And I do. Okay. Sick. Uh, and then uh, you two can also choose uh, a deck to uh, choose okay. from because you also uh, go to the next floor. Hey, do you want Chris to go? Uh, you can choose first. Though. What should I do? I'll go uh, for Dawn. Okay. Yeah, I think it's there. Uh, what do we got? Why is that in the shop? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry. This, this, uh, that's also wait, uh, when the shop opens. And there's no combat in the shop, don't worry. Uh, basically, we're gonna lay the items here. Oh, and this has to be shuffled. And this. So, the shop works like this. Uh, the values is what you have to pay. And if you're money short, you can uh, remove action cards from your deck up to the value that you uh, still need to pay. Uh, with a maximum of uh, the floor number. So everyone can stow a maximum of seven value if they are seven coins short uh, to make up for uh, what they uh, have to pay. And then I think we're gonna start uh, with the shop on the left. So that's gonna be uh, Nick and Chris. So they can choose first and you can uh, choose one item and one uh, eclipse, okay. eclipse action card. How much does a feast cost? Is that or the next? Sorry? How much does a feast cost, that X card? Uh, that's a seven right okay. now, because we're on the seventh floor. Okay, yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I can't afford two unless I go for the overlap uh -huh. or the unusual shade. Um, even if you, uh... Well, I've got ten. Yeah. So how does spending it from your... Uh, you can again? basically just, uh, choose which, uh, action cards to remove from your deck. And but is then, there one... Uh, every one remove? value that you stow, uh, that you put away, uh, accounts for one coin. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ooh, I like the reeking car cartridge. Oh, yeah, there. reeking cartridge. <laughs> if, if you have the opportunity to have one uh, in your party, it's so good. Do you mind yeah. if I get that, Chris? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, nice. And it gets refilled with the charm. 
Okay, so the only one I can really afford to get is the fake rank. Uh huh. Um, I have to discard two cards to do it. Um, how do you sort through your deck? Uh, um, you can right click it and then tap search. Just get the unusual shade for one. All right. Let's also get refilled with the adaptability. Uh... So, who bought what now? Uh, so I bought fake rank. All right. Um, Let's go fake ranks. Just got a two <laughs> to get it. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all I can afford. All right. Um, Have you already spent uh, action cards as currency? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Great. And then Nick, you got the recon <coughs> cartridge. I got a recon cartridge, and I bought a one cost card. Okay. Um, nice. Then. All right. Then Jinnas, the uh, stage is yours. The stage is mine. Yeah. To buy something. To... Yeah, exactly. I don't want to. <laughs> All right. Doesn't matter. Well, I've got two items. That's our quest, really, isn't it? That's true. And I've got free coins, so yeah, I can actually I can afford one thing, which is of less value of what I've already got. But you could also, uh, if you want, you can uh, uh, put away. Uh, up to seven value of your action cards to uh, be able to afford items in the shop. Got you. Like the feast. <laughs> so, uh, for example, you have uh, the chainmail now, right? Mm. And it gives you a shield in every stat. And we have the charm here, which uh, makes your shields count as stat increases as long as you are shielded. Got you, yeah. I know what so, you mean. For, synergy that's what, between the yeah, items, that, yeah, that for example would be a very synergistic uh, item combination. But I've got to stow the number of cards to be able to get that. So, uh, yeah. you know, super massive backpack sounds good as well. <laughs> yeah, that's also pretty good. But I think is that, is that a, that's a Ten. twelve, so Ten, you can't afford seven. it. No, I'm all right. I'm just going to keep oh, what okay. I've got. It's fine. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's all right. go to our doom. All right. <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six coins. All right. Uh, so I think... Uh, I think... You know what? You know what? I think we're going to go with Feast because it's an X card. Oh, yeah. So you... You can play it basically any time. That is uh, good, yeah. And I will lose a... I will lose a magnifying glass to do so. Mm -hmm. That's it. All right, then we've all been to the shop. Uh, wait, uh, we haven't drawn uh, cards, right? Before we no, went no. into the shop, did uh, we? I, I did. We, we did, but yeah. I had oh, to, yeah. we did. Okay, okay. Then I will add the eights. Yep. Because we are going to go up again. <laughs> and... <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Chris and I are just trying to balance on the dice together. <laughs> it's it's all, almost impossible. I, I've tried to get the map in a way such that uh, the pawns sort of oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> sort of work nicely with standing next to the dice, but it just yeah. it just don't work. Hey! Hey! Oh! 
kicks he, Dable. The hero of the <laughs> arrow strikes again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Sorry. now, uh, Jinnis, you can... Uh, I, I think you can uh, be the first one to uh, draw again. Okay. Um, let's go dusky. One, two, three. Flip, yeah. flip, flip. Uh, then I will try light again. Drop, drop, drop. Um, drop some red. I think you know what? I'll do it. And now the only one. Uh, who coins really matter for is uh, Nick, so uh, the rest doesn't really have to draw uh, the coins if uh, <coughs> they... Uh... Who's drawn from what deck so far? Sorry? Uh, uh, the, the, these have been drawn from. Okay. So Chris, can I grab one? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to you. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go for the Dusk this time, right? Okay. It looks like we're actually gonna get to the boss fight. What's this? Crazy, crazy, crazy. We've got a whole it, combat yeah. room. Yeah. We could split the party into the two combat rooms. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's insanity. Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That would be actual madness. Well, about that, there's a character which ability is madness, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's the alchemist. That's the newest, uh, the newest character. He can uh, play uh, two action cards at once to combine them. Yeah. So, uh, oh, this fireplace. That's pretty. Oh no, I'm sorry. I, I. <laughs> <He's not laughs> the farm <laughs> fell. Uh, yeah, both fireplaces. Yeah, both fireplaces. So I think I will. I'm gonna heal up and then finish it. Actually, that makes no difference to me. Yeah, I I will heal up because it uh, restores me by my uh, velocity mm. by one. Yeah. So I have three velocity again. Like this, 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 this. So, pretty quick floor. Uh, so, it, has everyone uh, done something in the fireplace? No, I just killed that. Uh, sorry, what were the options for the fireplace? Uh, our option for the fireplace are either to remove one card from your deck, to heal one of your stats by one. Or to advance your uh, character quest with the uh, right number here. Uh, I'm gonna have to heal. Yeah, might be best. <laughs> uh, and then uh, if everyone's done that, uh, Jinners can draw again. What we are. Monster. No, no, uh, not yet. Uh, first, uh, uh, we're gonna have to level up again. With uh, with the cards, we might need it for uh, this combat. <laughs> nice thing is that we uh, surpassed the barrier already. Because there's, nah, I shouldn't. I should not make a mechanic that destroys your items. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> there, there is no mechanic that destroys your items, so we're pretty certain uh, that if we win next combat, we will uh, advance. Uh, I will actually uh, try and draw a nice and then the uh, dust card. And I mean, I'm not even mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's broken. Do you fancy Chris? Uh, I don't mind. I'm, um, 
Uh, well, let me. I'll go for my deck. Okay. So we've just been asked if this tabletop simulator by uh, Matt. Yes, it is tabletop yeah, simulator. It is indeed. Yeah. True. I uh, just popped all my files in here and then try to arrange them as uh, neatly as possible. As which, as you can see, has not really happened that neatly, but... I think it's okay. I think you've done a yeah. good job putting it in, to be honest with you. Uh, thanks. It works, at least. Yeah. It, it's, it, it's a lot nicer than the actual paper cards. They're handwritten and without art, and it was really dry. Uh, without any of that. Okay, are we going in separate combat rooms? I'm ready. Uh, are we? <laughs> a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Really? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Just... uh, whoever wants to draw the monster, I'm in. Good for it. Nice. What a... Now something's gonna activate. Sorry to say this, mm -hmm. but uh, whenever the monster you draw is, uh, whenever the first monster you draw, I'm sorry, is uh, has a value that's half the floor number or lower, you draw another monster, <laughs> a second one. But oh. in, in, in this case, it's, it's most likely not that bad because one of them is a one, so that's easy to get rid of. And the second one is a. Mm -hmm. Is it two? So I mean, <laughs> we we can do we can do this easily. We can do this easily. Oh, dear. The we... first one is uh, thirty-four. And fourteen plus nine is twenty-three. And then the reeking cartridge. Uh, Oh yeah. Yeah, Up subtracts down. eleven from both of them. Number. <laughs> yeah. So twelve. Yeah. So this this is gonna be a walk in the park. Are we all in the same room now? Are we? Uh, I sure hope so. There we go. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take them on themselves. That works. Uh, so, the first uh, monster drawn was the Dusk monster, was the Shady Shopkeeper. Mm -hmm. Yep. So... Oops. You can start. So, 12. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, th this is gonna be a walk in the park. Are we all in the same room now? Aren't we? we are, yeah. Uh, I sure hope so. There we go. Oh, that's gonna be problematic. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can do this, can't we? Yeah, yeah. Draw them <laughs> that works. Uh, so the first uh, monster drawn was also Plus. also monster. also uh, <laughs> shady shopkeeper. I will uh, yeah. use my uh, so slime extract to uh, disable the well early yeah. birds ability. Yeah. So th this is gonna be a walk yeah. in the park. Are we all in the same room now? Or... Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm listening to the stream. <laughs> Fine. Ignore me. Yeah. Oh damn. So, tell me what's gonna happen. Uh, is it, sorry, is it me? Uh, it's the Dusk player. Starts first. That's me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, what's hey, you're, my... you're... I don't know who's it. But... Yeah, uh, no, I'm not Dusk, am I? I'm Shadow, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm Chris. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. Okay, I'll do that. So I'll go for a magnetic moon. Yeah. Three damage to all enemies. Nice. Um, draw a card and shuffle it back. It's not dusk or shadow. Hey, that's hey. dusk. Well, you actually have that card. That's broken. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually Ooh. one shot the early bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, and it goes to Nick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you played two dust, didn't you? Okay. Okay, I have very little choice in this. I'll play Dawn. <clears throat> uh 
Uh-huh. You deal one whole damage and pass it back to Chris. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Yeah. This is some spread damage, guys. That's pretty good. I could... I could actually one-shot the, the bird. The bird. <laughs> and take the... Um, Do it. <laughs> and take him Slay down him to down. a single figure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it is a seven card. Wait, you can actually play a seven now? Um... Can I play a seven? You have to have a plus six on your... Uh, yeah, uh, you have a yeah. two velocity. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you so can play a not... three. That's alright. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, mm, okay, in that case, I'll uh, keep it. That one. Yeah. So, stow a card and draw a card. Uh, deep space value. So, I'll then play this. I'll stow the seven to draw seven. Ooh. Nice. Yes. That. Damn, there's a maximum hand size of 10, by the way, so you'll be at the uh, absolute limit. This is some min-maxing going on right there. This man's a madman. <laughs> He's got a big brain. Yeah, okay, back to me again. Yeah. yeah. I will play again the only thing I can play, which is the scattered lies again. So one uh -huh. more damage and back to Chris. Great. <laughs> If you have anything that can draw cards, Chris, it'd be really handy right now. <laughs> can anybody... Is anybody uh, able to play a... Play a seven card. Yeah, I could. I could play a seven card. Cause what? Cause can I use? Uh, Cause there's the. I've got the lucid dream. Yeah. But that would deal four damage. Uh huh. And then I could. Could I then use my ability to pass a seven card to you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If I do that. That deals four damage. To whom would you like so to deal the damage? That's five above. That's too far above. Isn't it? Your velocity isn't fast enough for that. Wait. Uh, oh yeah, it is too far off. Ah, damn. Yeah. That sucks. Damn. Yeah, your velocity is only two. It's all very limited. What you can play now. Two yeah. and threes. Mm. Oh, oh, that's hard. Okay, so I can play. Four, can't I? Uh, uh, no, I because play? I played oh. a one. You only played two or three. Yeah. Oh damn! That was really Wait, nice. but you have so many cards in your hand. Yeah, but I was looking for some really meaty cards. I can't, can't do. Uh, Let's just hope, keep going backwards and forwards, hitting. Are we one gonna get killed by the early bird? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> what damage do you do? One. Uh, one initial. Okay. Yeah, you'll, ah, you'll take okay. damage from two monsters. Right. If I, so what did you just play? I played a one. Okay. So if I do a magnetic moon, do another three damage to all enemies. Okay. Yeah, you you can play toward me if you want. Then. Um, yeah, would that be worth it? Or yeah. I'm just going to bounce it back to you again. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I'll 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 pass it on to you. Three nice. Guys. Yeah. Okay. Three damage, you said. Yeah, uh, three three damage to everybody. One, two, three. That's pretty neat. Okay, in that case, I will. Uh, wait, what's my? I have three velocity. That's a two, so I can play a f maximum of five. It's a two. Yeah, it's a two. Oh. Uh, so I will play. Do, shall I? No. Shall I? <laughs> No. Okay, I, I will play I will play a four action card. I will play some more sleep. You have one action card with up to three value to the next player. That's gonna be generous. Yeah. Uh I will play a uh, magnifying glass to you. Uh and I have another one of those, so I will search it and get it in my hand. And then it's your turn. 
Okay, what did you just play? Sorry? I played a Four. Summer Sleep. Four Dawn. Four Dawn. Yeah, oh sorry, Four Dawn, yeah. So, sorry, just clarify for me what I can, what numbers uh, I can play. Now, you can play a five of any kind. Okay. Or a three dusk. Five of any kind. So yeah. let's... Oh, damn. Yeah. Affect one action card from every other player. If you play those action cards this combat, give them back instead. All right. Uh, so we now all, uh, as can be seen in the keyword section, uh, mm -hmm. we all give one card from our hand uh, to you. Yeah. Uh, I can see you're having a rough time, so I will get, give you an X. There you go. How about? Thank you. Do you want to? Can you play a seven? And I can play the X. Oh, can well, I? you, oh. you, you, uh, you cannot play right now. Because uh, the the turn just uh, continues to me. Yeah, thank you. But uh, who do you want? Sorry, to... that's what does the card say? Sorry, if you Sorry. play those action cards, this combat. Okay, yes. so in this combat. Okay, I've got yeah, it. Yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Uh, sorry, it, it, it might not be clear. No, no, it's uh, fine. I understand now. But uh, which monster would you like to deal damage to? Uh. Five, so I don't like the look of that duck. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's gone. <laughs> it is. Uh, and then I will react to that beautiful five with standoff. And uh, it's a deal eight damage. Uh, you and a player of your choice blindly play the top card of your deck. Shove the lowest value action card back in and the highest value takes effect. So, who of you uh, has thinks they have a big chance of a uh, high value action card on top of their deck? <laughs> I have very little chance of it. I've got 14 yeah, cards. I've got oh, 13, yeah. I have no idea, I'll be honest. Uh, I, yeah, go, uh, I'll, I, yeah, I'll chance it. I reckon mine's you'll, high. You'll chance it? Okay, okay, okay. So, I'll count I'll that 3, no 2, 1, idea. and I'll yeah. 3, 2, 1, we draw. Ready? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Draw. Two. Uh, one. <laughs> what, what did you draw? Two. A two. Well, the two plays. So it's it's. Wait. Uh, has the eight damage been dealt yet? Yeah, yeah. I took the eight damage off. Oh, okay. Nice. So we got another two. Off. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five. So then you're then. Oh wait. No, it's sunlight. So it deals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It, de it deals five damage. Okay. So I took two, yeah. take another three. Yeah. Some two. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, and that goes to me again. Uh, that, that's sad, though. <laughs> I, I, I will take one hand size damage. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I, I will take one hand size damage, and uh, all play cards can be uh, stored back in the deck. Uh, and I will just kill it immediately uh, with a uh, laser pointer, so you just don't have to really do all, all the setup. Okay. Yeah, and we get uh, three coins each, but only Nick really has to uh, pay attention to that. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful coins. Yep. Yeah. The, the card I was trying to play was um, the Dark Sky. It would yeah. have done a total of 14 damage. Yeah, yeah. Dark Sky <laughs> can, can get pretty, yeah. pretty red. So, uh, uh, James, I think uh, you can choose because uh, it seemed like you were kind of not feeling it anymore. So, would you it's like okay. to? Would you like Sorry. to continue to the to the boss or like? Well, I, let's I, see it, isn't it? Let's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my, right. My... Have we got through the door? Yeah, yeah exactly. It, it's unfair not to. My my All brain right. is a little bit fried on. Yeah, there's, there's I, I a lot that. of lot going on. 
That's all. It, there's, there is a lot going on. Yeah, that's 130. true. 130. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is a bot. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna put it up here. So then yeah, yeah. Okay, you can do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is a boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> 130 either. <laughs> oh, you, you, you can just type it in. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, yeah, Th these can get pretty rough. What have we got? Let's see. Dame the Hemo Nancer. So take two Light. damage, two damage. Heals 20 health every time it attacks. Oh, man. Yes, <laughs> exactly. You are having a. Do we get another card in our hands before we go? Yes, two? we do. And now the 10 value cards are in there. And the 10 player cards are absolutely broken. I've got to give but... these cards back, by the way, because I didn't use them. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Help exactly. yourself to who's oh, thank you. ever well, you I... gave. That was sick, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, who dealt the finishing blow? It was you. It was uh, you, yeah. You like... It was me. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will try and get the light 10, because it's absolutely bonkers to... <laughs> okay, guys, th th this is practically a win. <laughs> if if we can sort of get it going, uh, uh, I think Nick should pick next. Okay, uh, I will go for light. That's my action. We'll have an X. Nice. All right. Um. Ah, uh, it's tempting. I could take nine coins because there was a one card there. Oh damn! Yeah, you uh, could. But what? What are your options? There's no well, point I've taking got, money seven, at this point, though, is there? I have a seven power card, an X card, or one card. Oh. Yeah, that's a rough choice for you, man. Because <laughs> if that X doesn't get drawn. Totally wasted. Where yeah, it, the, it would be totally wasted. That's true. Five coins would be very useful for adjusting the. Uh, yeah, you can. At least you can use your ability once. Now you could use it twice, right? Yeah, I could guarantee using it twice, or I could take a risk. Of... Yeah. Well, that, that that that's sort of your. Because uh, oh, I'm gonna have to take it because it's too. Fun. I want to use breakfast. It sounds so funny. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I've got I'll... breakfast now with it. Thank you. Yeah, all the X value action cards have uh, a meal as their name. We have uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and midnight snack. <laughs> then uh, feast, also. Okay. Yeah. And I drew it. Oh, sweet. Nice. All right, you still have those lying around, though, so that you can put those uh, back in your deck. Uh, the mm -hmm. two cards that you played. Right. And I will shuffle and draw as well. That's a pretty good hand. Okay. Uh, so I will start this combat. Uh, basically, we want to keep this combo alive as long as possible. <laughs> because he, he, he yeah. just almost insta kills you. Auto heals. Oh. And, he, and he heals, yeah. Does my uh, weakened cartridge do any damage to him? Oh. He d it does, yeah. So Two. it deals 12 damage, right? 2 plus floor number, yeah. Yeah. So Two. you could subs subtract that. And I will uh, deactivate his ability for the first round. Okay. So that he uh, doesn't heal 20. Good plan. Mm. And then I will... Yeah. <laughs> nice. To exert dominance. <laughs> lie on, lie on it. That will get him. <laughs> uh, I will. I will play uh, sunlight to deal two damage to him. That makes a dent, and it plays to the right, so it plays to you, Nick. That's a two, is it? Yeah. yeah, it is. Or wait, wait, wait. I, I will play it with linen cloak, okay. so it deals four damage. Okay. That might be waste, but I don't care. Um. <clears throat> I 
Okay, I'm gonna have to play this one. Damn. Just in. Alright. Okay, pause straight away. Dark Flame, the six damage. And then every time I stow action cards this round, I also draw an action card. Hey, uh, do you have uh, three velocity for it? No, you played a two though, didn't you? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. okay. I, I will play it as a two then. I will play it as a two. Because I played it as a one, but I'll, I'll just play it as a two. Oh, I didn't know you played it as a one. Yeah, no, it, it's Oh, you played the Linden Cloak, did you? No, no, no. No, no, I didn't. So but I can play a two instead. If you want. Uh, th this is completely fine. Okay. Cheers, George. This, this sets you up pretty nicely. It's not a cowboy hat, by the way. Just to clarify. Sorry, someone's commenting <laughs> upon my hat. <laughs> <laughs> well, what kind of hat is it? It's a fedora, but it's Ooh. the same fedora as Orpha Sir Terry Pratchett. There we go. So it's oh, a little nice. homage. It went well with my white beard, but I shaved that off last week. So. Oh, <laughs> sad. Yeah, I know. We, there was a little memorial, you know, <laughs> when it was flushed. Right. Burial uh, at sea. Okay, so I've done six damage with my foot, so yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> in this case, I, I, I will cast Day Drinking. I think. <laughs> will I? Never good. Never good. <laughs> will I? No, I, I will not. That's so risky. Uh, yeah, I'll have to use my linen cloak. Uh, to play photosynthesis. Okay. Uh, back to you. Uh, as a three value, uh, I will gain a one initial shield. Does nothing here, so I won't get it. Deal damage equal to the amount of action cards played. That's two, so it's two damage. And I will harvest my sunlight. Okay. And then goes back to you. Okay. The only thing I can do is. I can play a Shadow 1 by spending the money. Uh huh. Um, I can select 5 coins. Yeah. Okay, so stow 1 action card, draw 1 action card, deal damage to the difference in the value. Um, what is that? That's uh, useless. So I'm going to play stow that one as a 1, draw 1, which is a value one. It's exactly the same card. Oh <laughs> no, no. Uh, that's sad. Yeah. Okay. In that case, uh, I will uh, play some more sleep, and I will <laughs> some more sleep sunlight to you, and I will grab a sunlight from my deck. Boom. Uh, and then it's your turn, Genesis. Okay. What? I'm sorry, I I think the reason I'm struggling with this is I still don't quite understand the mechanic in terms of oh, what yeah. cards I can play. Okay, so... I think uh, that's the crux I'll, of the uh, issue. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it again. Yeah, please. Uh, so, you have this stat right here. Yeah. In the bottom. Yeah. And that's called your velocity. Right. And uh, the current number you have is one. Yeah. Uh, so that means that you can play one above... The what was just played. played? And what yeah. did you just play? I played a four. Okay, so I can play five. Okay, that's yeah, already you can. there. Cool. And then uh, the orange cards, uh, so the dust cards, if, yeah. you, if, if I played a dawn card, you can play the dust cards also, you can play them lower if you want. So you can, you can play the higher either way, but uh, if there's a shadow, you can play a light lower. If there's a light, you can play a shadow lower. If there's a dusk, you can play the dawn lower. Okay. If there's a dawn, you can play the dusk yeah. lower. Play one action so, card for yeah. I'm going to play this one again and deal five damage. Chuck me your action cards, please, people. Yeah. Give uh, me options. I will. Uh... Here. Data, data drinking. <laughs> well, yeah, don't don't do time. that anymore. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Better slippery slope, life. yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Oh shit, uh, I fear I'll be taking damage. What did you guys give me? Dewdrop Dawn. You... Yeah, I gave you... Thanks, guys. I, I, you I really filled my hand. hand with a load of chaff. I appreciate <laughs> it. I have a really bad hand. Uh, 
I'm I'm gonna draw. Uh, no, sorry. I'm gonna take two hand size and two velocity damage uh, because I can't play, which is really sad. So my hand size goes to four. Uh, my velocity goes to two. Uh, oh, no. And then all my played action cards, of, oh, all our played action that. cards are put back on the in your draw pile. And I will put my hand back as well. Uh, you can choose whether or not you do that. Uh, and then I will draw up to my new hand size. Uh, okay, 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 okay. But yeah, I, I can imagine that if uh, if you don't really grasp the, or if you if you're having difficulty with the uh, mechanics, that it's it's quite a chore to sit through. It's okay, honestly. Yeah. I'm, not, I, I'm all right. I'm not. All right. All right. I'm not, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm enjoying it. It's fine. Cool. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, 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 that sounded a little bit bad. No, it's it's good fun. It's just about the banter, isn't it? And we're playing, yeah, true. you yeah. know, an unpublished game. Um, there's, there's I, I think it's got a good base. You know, there's yeah, something in this. There, um, there are absolute, uh, absolute flaws that I just don't have the, I don't, really don't have the uh, gay game design uh, insights to fix them myself, like without yeah. any uh feedback yeah, yeah from sure. pe people with more uh experience and that's yeah. what playtesting is all about so let's exactly let's yeah. kill this boss and then uh, ex i hope let's let's get some yeah exactly so uh i will try to enable you because you look like a strong one right now with all the all the scars in your hand <laughs> they're all bloody dew drops <laughs> 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 but yes, okay, let's do it. Uh, either way, I've got some my, good cards. I have. All my cards go toward you. So, uh, could you play on a three, three dawn? Uh, a free dawn. Yeah. I don't think I can. So uh, that would play... be dusk, up to three, or up to four. No, I've got no dusk. Uh, do you have any fours? No. Okay. <laughs> do you have twos, right? Do you have twos? Yeah, I've got one sun two. Oh, oh and yeah, I've got I, a I shadow gave, two. I gave that to you. Also, oh, this one goes uh, back in your uh, deck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I will laser pointer. It goes off two times for uh, six damage total because the last blade card was dusk. One, two, okay. three, four, five, six. Uh, and it goes towards you. You have to react to a one light card. A one light card? Yeah. I've got a two light card. That's... That's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a lot of damage, is it? Deal damage equal to the half amount number of cards in your hand. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... Well, it's going to be rounded up. Three. Oh, rounded up. Okay, four. Yeah. Nice. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I, I've just rounded up all damage from players and rounded down all yeah. negative things to players. Sure. I, okay. I thought I thought that that would be most beneficial to the experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then I will have to play my rise. Of... No, I don't have to. I will play some more sleep. Uh. Oh God. Uh, I will. Then. Play right. Put rise of spring in your hand. Thank you. And I have to do. I have another one. I don't have another one. So I deal its value as damage, and that's three. So it's at ninety HP now. And I only have one card in my hand. So please don't play toward me. <laughs> <laughs> if you have the possibility. Yeah. So it, it's a four uh, dawn, by the way, that you have to react to. Dawn. Yeah. Okay, so I can do the free dawn that you gave me, which passes it on. And mm, no, you can't. No. no. It, it, that would only be possible with the dusk here. Okay, yeah. Because those complement each other.
Hmm. Um. So I can do. I can't do dawn. Can I do shadow? Because that's all I've uh, got. Uh, beneath it. Yeah, beneath. Beneath a free? No. Oh, no. I can't. Uh, I can't go. It's, I think you die. No, uh, no, not, not necessarily. You have, you have, you have the chainmail, so you have. Yeah, uh, I've got one shield. One shield here. One shield here. Um, one shield here. So uh, you take damage now, right? Yeah. So first shield breaks from this and from this, and then you take one damage in each stat. You're on the very you, edge. You, you, yeah, you're on the <laughs> very edge indeed. <laughs> okay. Oh. But you can uh, uh, start combat again, right? Oh no, and it heals. Yeah, does she go back? Oh, oh you go back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I will draw four. Three, four. This one heals. T oh my god. Oh, that's a nice Okay. So, yeah, this is what the boss fight looks like. <laughs> 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 it's back at uh, 110 HP because my uh, slime extract uh, mm. wore off. Yep. <clears throat> so who starts the round? Starts in combat. Isn't it? Yeah. So below two on shadow. Right, is there any any number? Yeah, clean anything to start. Sorry. Uh, oh scare. yeah, what's your? But only two, so that's two, the two only card I can lower, do. Yeah. So uh, deal two damage. Play any other shadow action card within philosophy, including those with one value. Okay, so I can do that. Um, you may stow one action card to deal. Yeah, let's do that. So, okay, so I've just got a little bit of a combo. Two damage. Okay, yeah. Um, Four damage? For six damage. I just did. Nice. All right. Me. And it's toward me. Right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, could you react to a one light? No. <laughs> uh, okay, in in that case, could re could you react to a? Don't four... send it my way. <laughs> like, seriously, <laughs> I've got no cards I can play. I, I I have absolutely no other choice. <laughs> You're gonna kill me. Uh, but I'll, I'll do it fabulous fabulously. Okay, thank you. Uh, so <laughs> I'll I'll play lunch. This has been a week of me dying in virtual streams. Really? I'm used oh. to it. Yeah, I got decapitated last night, so go on, oh, throw it no. at me. <laughs> well, then this isn't so bad. No. <laughs> you get to eat lunch before you die. Yeah, fantastic. Exactly. Uh, He's so sending this, you a sandwich. Oh, I like lunch. And I fade an action card with up to X value, so it's going to be a 1. Uh, deal 2 damage. Uh, yeah, it's only two damage, or is it? No, it's four damage. Sorry. Uh, plus one damage. Four damage. Yeah, so that's five damage extra because it uh, deals the damage from the card uh, plus the value of the card as bonus damage. And the damage is four because the previous action card played was a shadow punch. 
Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wait, sorry. Because the previous XP card was a Shadow Punch, this lunge is a one value. So it has plus one here and then minus five. One, two, three, four, five. Does lunch, does lunch trigger twice if it's value one? For your sorcerer? Sorry? If the lunch is value one, does, does the sorcerer trigger it twice? No, because I don't play it here. I, I, uh, I faded it. But the, oh, the, the lunch sorry, card. yeah, the lunch. I'm so Perfect. sorry. It does. So I will uh, do another laser pointer. Uh, and that deals three damage. Yeah, you're right. I'll get all that damage. Sorry? Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. And then plus... Yeah, plus one more damage. Yeah from the lunch. Okay. And I'm sorry, it, it goes to you again, Jinners. Yeah, I can't do anything, so... Uh... I mean, uh... <laughs> the damage can be redirected. <laughs> by, uh, by Nick. If he wishes to do so. I'm alright to take it. <laughs> yeah, alright, that's fine. So, then, I think that's where we end it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, okay. so close. So close, it's only 94 to go. <laughs> close, oh, but no dude. cigar. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the, the boss fight's pretty pretty intense most of the time. Indeed. It, it's uh, it's a hard hard time uh, getting through. But, Junish, you, you, the honors so. are... Uh, the honor is yours, you can flip the table. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, a bit generous. No, I'm just trying to get a nice photo in a minute of the oh, boss okay. that killed us. Is that before you? <laughs> yeah, before I flip the table. Okay, are we all ready? Here yeah. We go. Okay. Three, all count down together. Yeah, three, uh, two, 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 one, one, one. go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, on that note, I'm going to switch out and then we'll just have a little quick chat about it um, yes, and get people's, get people's little impressions. Yeah. So bear with oh. me one sec. Please do. Uh, it's not going to let me do that, is it? So, oops. Okay, so let's turn mine on again. Hello. Hello again. Okay, oh, so. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you as well. That was um, <laughs> Palace of Prospects. Yeah. We have run over a little bit, I will say. So we are yeah. topping on three hours, 15 minutes. But. True. Tabletop Simulator does is relentless yeah. in its rules explanation and actually just playing the game. True. So, who would like to start in terms of people's thoughts? Um, Chris, take notes. Nick. Yep. Um, yeah, there's a there's a core, there there is a a base of of a game there. Um, I've got a couple of bits that occur to me. Um, with specialist route, you know, we've yeah. got where one person can only go that way. Um, possibly another way you could do it would be if that person goes that way, everyone else can follow them like a scout, and then Ooh. that person gets a gets some sort of bonus in the next area. Yeah, Everyone. because they're, it's their special, they're, it's their specialized area. Their it's their that, environment that they're used to. Kind of. That's a really great idea. Yeah. Um, Rather than forcing necessarily forcing someone to go off on their own, yeah, uh, a special thing. That that's a really really good one. I I hadn't thought about it. That might that might help in yeah. the choices. Um, that, that might make it a real choice. Yeah, the other thing I was going to possibly suggest is have more cards that have both directions. So the it's down to the player can choose who you know which direction mm. it goes. Um, yeah. I found yeah, I was having yeah. a lot of downtime. Yeah, true. I, I just, you were the, you were the, the least cards... interactive player, I would say. Yeah. Uh, in just, terms of actions and just because the way everybody's decks worked out, it ended up bouncing yeah. between you guys an mm. awful lot, and I was uh, kind of like, it's "There's not much you can do, was there?" Mm. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could um, do something like support, play cards yeah, to support that, that's, other actors. That's actually something. Yeah. That was another thing that came up was possibly. Uh, the ability to play multiple cards or play cards to assist other players if they synergize in some way. 
what what do you mean with so, that? So um you know you've got like the the dusk and night uh dusk and dawn card. Yeah. If someone plays a dusk card, um then someone else can play another card to assist it in some way. Uh okay, I'll, I'll write it down. Uh Possibly there like must it. there must be some way in which that is possible. So a way in which the other per the person you play towards could play two cards. Mm, or the if, if if they uh if they are complementary. Yeah, or someone else can if say I play a card which does three damage and it's a dusk card, yeah. someone else can discard one of their cards goes into say storage or oh yeah so, like that to boost that card to yeah. do more damage yeah um, like so then it gives everyone else an opportunity to take part whilst yeah they're playing. oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh so uh make cards more interactable for other players mm. uh interactive interactive for other players mm. Uh, th that's a really good one. It's uh, the thing I tried with uh, the uh, st standoff card, mm -hmm. the one that in win with which you choose one player and then you both draw the top card. But in the, there, in the very first iteration, there were a few more cards that did that. Uh, there are a few cards that do that that we haven't seen in this playthrough because they're pretty high value. Mm. Uh, because when everyone can just uh, stow or fade action cards, that damage can get pretty high pretty fast, uh, is what uh, I've seen in our previous playtests. So uh, one of those cards also got reworked, and one of those cards is still in the game. But I should be able to uh, figure out some sort of a way to make that work, yeah. Yeah, I mean, th these are just sort of spitball ideas. Yeah, no, it, it, it's... <laughs> Super good information. Yeah. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask actually was if someone gets eliminated mm -hmm. from the game, like early on or something, what ha what happens to that player? Does that player just have to sort of? Or is it game over for everyone? Oh is it game no 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 no. Or? So uh, what happens when uh, one player dies uh, in Palace of Prospects? Uh, the other players will have to uh, remove the highest value action card from their deck. Mm -hmm. or one of their highest value action cards from their deck, if they have multiple of the same value. Mm -hmm. uh, and that brings the uh, uh, fatally wounded player back with uh, no wounds at all. It, it heals them up to their starting stats. Ah, cool. Yeah. They yeah. keep their items, but if those items gave stats, uh, they don't get those stat boosts anymore. It's just uh, they uh, reset to... Uh, say starting but then with their uh still upgraded decks still upgraded okay. uh items yeah that, that's good um, yeah yeah because you don't want people going oh i've got to leave the table and that's yeah, yeah. That's, not, that's not well, good for anyone else. exactly so th th that's kind of uh, and because all the other players will suffer from it it's sort of uh you want to do everything to make sure uh no no one dies so it's it's sort of a high stakes uh situation uh this is what what i thought uh the sort of the the train of thought i uh created that with yeah uh, okay I, yeah like i say i think that there there's a there's a base of a of a of a of, of a good game there nice. um, but Thank like you, you say it's, it's early do early days and yeah, yeah. so what that's was the why, that's why we do play testing what was the one thing you enjoyed most? Um, I really liked. It's it's a very unique. Um, the cards are very unique. They're not. Oh, they're, not <laughs> they're not. They're not the sort of generic fantasy which that I quite enjoyed. Yeah. Um, All right. Quite thanks. Eclectic. Um, yeah, I I really liked the way the cards synergize. I can see what you're trying to do there with. Mm. with yeah. The way the inter the different styles interact with another and how you get players to. You bounce bounce ideas off of each other and synergize that way. Yeah, I, I exactly. Like nice, thanks. Because that that's exactly like the the feeling I'm mm. I'm going for with this game. It's all about combos, yeah. and I'm trying yeah, to. With, mm -hmm. Yeah, with, with you and Junior's when you had that that fight, the yeah. epic fight with you two. Yeah, that, that, that's sort of how it's what it's supposed to look like, <laughs> but it, it it only happened. Uh, that was like the the 
the one moment of fame, sort of. <laughs> <It was. laughs> okay, and uh, Nick, what, what, any notes yeah. that you made? To um, so yeah, much like Chris, I really, I like the love the comboing, um, and I really like the idea of the aligned factions working together in a unique way. That's a very unique feature. Um, the the deck building was good. I like that, um, and I did like the asymmetric player powers. Uh, that we each had. I always like games with those. Yeah. Um, cons, I thought the... It, it is obviously a very steep learning curve. Yeah, uh, when you're first that, learning that's it. true. Like, um, oh. And that's not negative, necessarily a bad thing against the game. That's just a, something players would have to be aware of when they try to mm -hmm. learn the game. Mm. It's, and so that's... Um, you need a very good rule book to cover that. Yeah. Like, um, uh, I know my rule book now is pretty insufficient. I think uh, it just I, needs structuring. I mean, I think all the all the information's there. You just need to know where to look in the. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because I've had I've had feedback uh, on it already, and uh, it it was so much worse. It was <laughs> an absolute. Uh, some might say it was roadkill. Just, it, it, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> uh, right now it's it's sort sort of readable, but it's still. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's big, so you have to really, uh, like, uh, the thing I actually wanted to do uh, at the start of the game was uh, just uh, scroll through the rule, rule book with you instead of uh, mm -hmm. doing it myself, but I got kind of thrown off because my internet was working at, all of a sudden, and just everything went awry. <laughs> uh, so... Yeah, uh, that I don't know if it might have helped the experience. Like you, you Nick, you have uh, you did uh, scroll through the rule book. I don't know yeah. if there's. Any... I was looking up little bits here and there yeah. just to clarify that. I don't know if there's anything that uh, you think that the other players might have uh, had an easier time with or a better time with if I've just scroll through that at the start of the game i don't know i don't think so i think if you had a player aid that would be helpful because you've got the player map to do the terms which are fine yeah, yeah. Um, but if you had a player aid to say what rooms do what exactly yeah what, fair what choices you have what the stats do and things like that just a reminder true yeah i, I should have that indeed be good um i thought the players you, you could get stuck in a a back and forth and that's yeah. to do with the directional arrows have you thought of putting on any of the cards having double direction so you can choose which way it goes? Uh, well, that's sort of, uh, right now, uh, the Eclipse action cards have that as their unique power, sort of. Um, and that's, that really is their strength, because the Eclipse action cards don't uh, synergize with any other of the others in a uh, comboing fa fashion, so you can't play them below any of the other action cards. Yeah. Uh, so... But in this game, we had very little shops, a, a real low number of shops. Uh, so uh, there, wa there was not really a chance to get any of that action going. Yeah. Uh, I will have a look, because Chris said it as well. Uh, I will have a look at double direction uh, action cards, yeah. uh, whether or not that is an option. Uh, and then most likely, uh, generally, I can just... Should I do that on the one value action card? Just all one value is double direction. And then the other one's not. It'd be an interesting way to try it, yeah. Mm. Or maybe yeah. have in your starting hand one yeah. card yeah. that, or one or, you know, maybe one or two cards that allow you to have that double direction. The others mm. are. Uh, so they're, so they're weak, but you can then choose the direction. Mm. Yeah. yeah. They're or weaker cards. Maybe. Uh, like that every character has sort of a secondary character power that every th everyone has that one time they can turn around yeah, yeah. is uh i i don't know what the best implementation would be but i i'll try uh i'll try all of those okay yeah then yeah. and i'll i'll uh update you on what sticks <laughs> Sounds good. That, that's a really good one uh some way to uh aid in the direction of play, direction of play. Um, i haven't i have quite a few more but i'll i'll, I'll pass those on later um, oh yeah i think it, the only other one i've got here is what's the player scaling 
what does it play like in different player counts? Uh, the player, player scaling player here is uh, two to four players. So if you play like two pl with two players, it will be uh, like uh, the combat that uh, Janice and I had uh, with the two of us. So most of that is just really fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Pa passing, forth. passing, passing, passing. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's uh, also, that takes a lot less time, mm -hmm. but yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, yeah. It can get a little more stale because you don't mm -hmm. necessarily have to uh, dip into uh, the other decks as much because you don't have to, uh, yeah, what, what's it called? You, you don't have to synergize with any other players. It's just yeah. uh, light and shadow, light and shadow, or dusk dawn, dusk dawn. Uh, and you can get away with that. And in a normal game, you can't. Uh, three players has been really interesting. I've done it a few times but yeah it it, it works but it, it feels a bit weird and then four mm -hmm. players is what we've experienced now yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but three players is really really doable uh it's just uh the warp in rooms are weird because someone yeah, has yeah. to do some solo stuff then <laughs> uh it, it's mostly because of the in-map stuff that that wouldn't work there okay. there's no uh no no ability to split off in any way shape or form in uh in a three player game so you're limiting options but yep. same goes for two players but yeah okay. if you play with two players you're sort of expecting it yeah, yeah, yeah. so um First of all, I probably need to develop my poker face a little bit better because uh, <laughs> you obviously picked up that I wasn't enjoying it, and that's not the truth. I really did enjoy it. Um, oh, I no, think I, I didn't even. Uh, it wasn't your face. It was your voice. Okay, <laughs> yeah, right. Voice, and I was like, a little oh, bit. No. Um, so, so <laughs> positives. Yeah, there's something in it. Like there, there's a fun little game here, um, and I think it comes down to a few of the core mechanics in my yeah. and this is just an opinion you know you yeah, can course. throw this away completely but the the main difficulty i had and nick's picked up on this is the steep learning curve like yeah all those rules were you were explaining new stuff as as the game progressed yeah. right up to pretty much the end of the game and that made it for me quite tricky to yeah. follow what was going on um, I think a lot of that can be solved by player aids, you know, so breaking down the synergies between the different types of cards, the values that you're able to play instantly above and beyond, you know, um, your base values and that sort of yeah. thing. Um, but for me, and I'm going to go very much against, against the grain, I can see what you've tried to create here. And I can see you're a computer gamer. And I can yeah. see this is a sort of... <laughs> open world um you know dungeon crawl adventure in a sort of you know open world fantasy land where you can do yes. everything and i sort of yeah and i think that is its flaw okay. in a sense because i think you've got some really good core mechanics that need some of it needs to be stripped right back to those mm -hmm. core mechanics to to make it more fun, more engaging. Um, having those big bosses with those big number counts, yeah, great. Absolutely awesome. That's that's where you get that moment of we've just taken down 120 <laughs> yeah, health boss exactly. by the skin of our teeth. And that's fun. Um, and I think, you know, you, you had it all. You had shops, you had the map. You had paths in which you could go. You could walk characters in different pathways. Um, you then had the synergies between the cards. You had so much of it going on. Um, it was hard to keep track. And my thoughts are, why do you even need this multi-directional track? Why isn't it just one track, for instance? One, um, one, one epic adventure through this, this, this mm -hmm. journey. Um, so that then strips back one layer um, yeah. and then sort of focusing on the card synergies and how they work together with the different players and the different player types. And I think that's the, 
You know, I really do think that's the strength, taking down these big epic bosses um, by working together. Um, mm -hmm. And it was sad to see Chris sat out on a limb a little bit yeah, at times. And really also was. myself at times and Nick other times, you know, and it just felt like there needed that more collaborative aspect. Yeah, um, true. But at the same time, it's there's something in it. I think with the right narrative structure and wrapper to storytelling, you've got a great little fantasy adventure. Thanks. Yeah, um, that, oh, no, sorry. Yeah, go no, on. no, go on, jump in. Uh, that's also something uh, that uh, I currently got someone working on. I got uh, one of my friends uh, who uh, runs uh, our D&D &D world. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he sort of agreed to do a world building and story building uh, thing uh, with Palace. Uh, so what I will, what I want to do and what I want to have is uh, some sort of, uh, not, not really legacy, but story mode uh, that can be played, like if, if this card is, is drawn go to page 50 mm -hmm. read mm -hmm. thing yeah. that and that 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 uh, whole narrative plays out um that but that's something for way later in uh yeah, in, yeah. in in development mm -hmm. uh so it is something that uh i'm actually uh looking looking for and then the uh one track thing you said that that is really interesting uh the reason i haven't done it now uh is partially because of what the game is inspired by. It's inspired by yeah, uh, Sl Slate Spire and this kind of what, what they did. And it works so well there. Like uh, you're stripping away a layer of choices that uh, I I thought or st still think. I'm itching it, it's, to it's say. really a matter of yeah, 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 for sure. Percep perception but or uh they could be add-ons later on different path yeah, routes could... could be expansions to the base game yeah of course um, so, yeah. yeah i could make a uh what's it what's it called like a, a beginner map mm. uh which is just a straight line that that's absolutely the, true the actual game that came to mind and and one of you jump in and tell me the name of the game because i can't remember it but you're going along the track um and you're trying to beat people to different locations. Uh, Munchkin? No, not Munchkin. No. Um, it's not. Oh, uh, 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 Takano. No. Yes, that's no, the one. Um, Takano. Yes. Takano. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, 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 and that's that sort of came to mind in a way. Um. But yeah, that that was it. I just uh, it, it. There was just a lot for me yeah there, there is a lot indeed um yeah. and it also doesn't help that i'm bad at explaining i don't think it's that at all <laughs> no, i think but, a few player uh, aids would solve a lot of the yeah, problems ex ex exactly uh yeah that, that's, that's doing the teacher is it, an is an art mm. um, it, uh, an incredible art yeah one i haven't <laughs> mastered it's, it's not one i've, I've man <laughs> no. managed to do either i'll film it oh uh, yeah but uh, I don't know if, uh, like, um, if there was one thing you could strip away of the game, what is the one thing you would? If there was only one thing that you could strip away? I would take away probably the um, one of the stats. I think having three stats is mm. would simplify okay. yep. if you've done two. So yeah. you take away the initial. Take away stat, initial? So... Would so then... you'd, always, you'd always say you just have a predefined limit of or you just let the players play whatever they want to start with and then they have to liaise with each other of what huh. range they're going to start playing in I mean, that, that kind of auto balances yeah that's that's interesting because what i got now is that uh all play all characters are uh balanced around a stat total of 11. Mm. uh and that that's the way i keep them balanced and it's sort of, uh, I, I would, in, in my head, I would take a lot of my own options in character building away by, uh, or I, I would take a lot of the uh, inherent strengths and weaknesses from some of the characters away in uh, deleting 
uh, that stat. Hmm. But I I don't know if if you look the same way toward it that. Yeah, okay. uh, do, do you think that would be a, a problem? Because uh, right now there's some uh, some characters that have a uh, initial of one, yeah, basically because they do other things really well. Yeah, and other otherwise I sort of have to have two archetypes of characters, and that's characters that have a lot of cards in their hand and characters that uh, can play high. And then, yeah, I, I just think, I totally understand your point, but I, I think that, that would make it sort of Yeah, stale. I think I'd have, I'd have to play it to see what difference it made. Yeah. But I didn't feel it made, I didn't feel I used that stat in a, any decision I made at any point in the game. No, true. Therefore, yeah. To me, to my character, it felt irrelevant to have it. True, yeah, fair. For me, it might be the the specific paths that individuals can travel down. Yeah. Um, uh, if uh, if I would go with Chris's idea, uh, would 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 that uh, still would would you still think the same about it? What what which one? Chris's uh, idea. Sorry. Chris had had the idea of uh, basically if one if the player that could take the path takes the path, all players can follow. And the player that uh, ha has its specific path uh, can enter like a library or something, uh, or yeah, some or, new or get some get yeah, some bonus in their comp it, yeah, they get some in their type of combat. bonus, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe they get an extra card in their hand. Or... Again, I think um, it's, it's still not. Nick, I, I would need to see okay. it to, to yeah, see how it exactly. impacts. Uh, so character specific. Pause. Are a weak link, sorta. Not fair. Uh, I I can totally see that. Hmm. And then Chris, what what would you strip away immediately, without um, any hesitation? I'm trying to think. I I wouldn't say not not necessarily strip away, but but expand would be the possibility of. of Players being able to, uh, of um, the direction cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of of being able to choose who goes next in some way. I don't know. Maybe you can uh, maybe expend a card to to choose which direction you go or, or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. it, oh, it, that it, I wouldn't necessarily problem. get rid of it mm -hmm. um, because I think that's an important part of the of the court mechanics. You have to make it hard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I reduce it. Finding finding ways to reduce the amount of downtime for the player who's not directly taking part. Um, True. Okay. That that's a good one. Yeah. Let's uh, let's wrap it up because we are coming yeah, to <laughs> a lot of hours. <laughs> Almost four hours. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. not a bad thing. But uh, thank you very much. Um, well, thank you all. It's been it, it has been fun. Um, and I'm just going to switch out to POV camp. So yeah. do you all want to say nighty night to anyone who's still watching? I'm sure that <laughs> there's not that many at this point. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, thank everyone. You so much. Night to everyone. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, thank you very much. That is another playtest broadcast here at In Game UK. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. And I know some of you have commented and bantered along with some of the gameplay there on the stream. So thank you so much for engaging. Um, if at any point you're interested to bring your games on um, and get us involved and take a look and give you some honest feedback on what we thought, then do feel free to get in touch with Chris, Manley or myself um, and we can organise something else. Otherwise, check out the Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash ingameuk for a bunch of rewards and perks um, to get involved. So thank you very much and thank you to everyone uh, that supports supports this channel. Thank you and good night.